welcome, welcome everybody to our fourth and final qualifier match. We have 413 Hailstorm going up against Q for Quarantine today. Should be exciting. I hope you all are excited to get in here and get this going. We're going to Elios' map one. Now, I, 413 Suspect, and accompanied by 413 Octave, will be casting for you today. Octave, are you excited? I'm super excited, Ben. I think we're going to see a really close match today, considering the last time we saw these two teams go at it, uh, it, it was an extremely close one. It went to five maps. Uh, I think it went to three rounds on map five as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I mean, the stakes are even higher now, so uh, I I'm expecting uh, I'm expecting an exciciting match today. Absolutely. So coming out for 413 Hailstorm on this opener map, Wolf, Spensini, Shizzy, Karsu, Than, and Rad. Coming out for Q for quarantine, we have Luis, Kara, Meow, MC, Frosty, Nano Hook, and Glitch. All right. We looking at what these uh, starting compositions are going to be. Starting off on Elios here. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Elios so far in this tournament. We've seen a lot of Li Zhang Tower. Um, mostly, we've seen mostly Li Zhang Tower. I would say Elios is kind of a rare sight to see. But, but a uh, good map, for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I think this is going to be an interesting one, for sure. And uh, we're going to have to wait and see what uh, what these two teams are going to are gonna bring out on their uh, on this first point here. You usually do see a lot of brawl and dive, though, for these two points. I would be surprised, I think, to see anything else. Um, as I say that, it looks like double meta comp. So walk me through the meta right now, Octa. A lot of the time, you're going to be seeing that ball sigma. You know, it's been played a lot in contenders right now. Uh, you've been seeing plenty of Tracer has been going around, a lot of Echo, a lot of Zen, a lot of Mercy. Uh, you can see both tank lines here. They got the Ball Sigma going, and of course Meow MC on that Echo. I think it's going to be a difference maker. On the other side of things, interestingly, we have Shizzy over on the Torbjorn, uh, which I would say is his signature hero. And, uh, you know, I, I think that one might be a difference maker here, the Torb versus this Echo. Yeah, at Torp Turrets do awesome jobs of delaying Tracers as well, but it looks like the balls are just kind of waving at each other, saying hi in the opening ground as the fight starts to break out. Tracers flanking on the right side, looking to find some kills, but uh, the other Tracer, um, Frosty's playing on the back line, watching his supports. Karsu versus Frosty's breaking out, breaking out on the side, and the Sigmas are dueling back and forth. Ball slams on the high ground. Tracers still going back and forth. Meow MC's not looking good. Wolf takes out Kara, spending on Meow MC. It is a fight breaking out. Karsu lands it out on Luisi. That's not really what you want from your ball player. It needs to live a long time. And it's just the supports going back. And that's going to be 4 1 3. Hailstorm is going to take this first percentage on the point. They're going to get this 10%. And uh, I mean, I, I guess you could say the Torbjorn is working so far. I mean, we haven't uh, seen a lot of him in the kill feed, of course, in this first, uh, in this first fight. However, uh, I, I think. This is going to be interesting because he's going to be able to get this turret over on the uh, over near this statue. He's going to be able to kind of pressure down this echo here. He's going to stop Meow MC from get, getting all that much value. I think uh, I think right now, big difference maker is Karsu. He's just winning that tracer one v one so much that Frosty's now moved over to the oh, to McCree, but Nanhook just deletes Wolf. That's a whole team effort there as they all participated. Karsu's running amok in the back line. Meow MC takes out Shizzy's turret. There's a lot of damage that's not being done anymore. Uh, Spencini's being pushed real hard. He's low HP, but Kara is lower with Discord. He is very low. Meow MC gets taken out by Karsu. Those traits are so impactful right now. Than taking out Glitch, a ruthless support. And Shizzy's got the goo. It is on the point. Frosty nails his head, but uh, Spencini answers pretty back pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it started off really well for a Cuba quarantine there with Wolf going down. Uh, Wolf going down to Nanook there. You know, I. I, I want to say that was a little bit of uh, CC hell because you got that Brig, the McCree, as well as the Sigma. Wolf got absolutely deleted in that fight, but weren't able to convert it to anything. Yeah, unfortunate. Now Spencini and Wolf coming into this with a major alt combo. Fan taking out Meow MC before the fight even breaks out, though. That's going to delay this. Kill. We're going all the way up to 80%. This is going to be a last fight coming in here, and they've got, uh, they've got the tools to win it right now. Hailstorm looking very good. Yeah, absolutely. Almost 90% accrued on this point so far, and the Q for Quarantine just doesn't have an answer so far. Kara touches the point, gets Flux, the Trance is there to answer back, but there's the mines underneath them. That's going to be a lot of damage really quickly bursted out. And mines to answer, though. All the support outs are coming out, and there's another returning Flux. Frosty takes out Karsu, though, the only pick out of these four ultimates so far. 
Shizzy's on the side. Wolf takes out Meowman C, but Frosty takes another one from Shizzy. That's both DPS down. Kara takes out Than. Nan Hook takes out Rad. Spencini on Nan Hook. This could be a comeback, but I don't think too little, too late. Spencini looking very unhealthy right now as he tries to escape with his life almost to the Mega. But Lucy says nope. Slams him out of the world. Absolutely not. That's going to be the first fight the Cube Quarantine is going to take here. And look at this, Meow MC just now getting to that Echo Ultimate. I, I guess you could say this. Uh, this Torbjorn is getting that value done because he was the, the last player on Q for Quarantine to get his ultimate up here. Uh, some great work from the side of, uh, of Hailstorm so far, able to really shut him down. Absolutely. Wolf taking that roll through, didn't, getting a little bit of damage out, but uh, it looks like uh, Luis is doing this exact same thing. Gets a lot of abilities put into him. He's low health already. Has to back off. And now it looks like uh, Hailstorm's trying to make an opening here. Spencini pushing in, taking a lot of damage on his shield. Karsu moved over to this McCree, hoping to stun up this ball and answer Frosty back. Spencini gets stunned in Discord. He's half HP already, but the Wolf dives in, takes a lot of damage, a lot of pressure off Spencini. The dupe is out. There are two Sigmas. A double flux is possible right now, and that would be deadly. Frosty takes out right on the side. A little bit of a flank McCree there, and Frosty follows up on Shizzy with a right click. Nanhook takes Wolf off the map. What a fling and a miss from Hailstorm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Frosty, absolutely gigantic, able to take out, I think it was three in that fight there. And uh, Cube for Quarantine is up now at 70%. I mean, if Hailstorm doesn't do something soon, they're, uh, they're gonna have to say goodbye to this 99% lead they had. Wolf and, uh, making a move over to this Hog. That's a meta we haven't seen for a little while. Sigma Hog with a spam, very strong a long time ago, but not quite as strong anymore. Maybe they're just looking for uh, a meta that suited them better, as meta is kind of like fluctuating right now. The top pro man, not exactly what you want to see diamond players running, but we'll see how it plays out right now. Ball rolls through, takes some damage. There's the flux, but the ra rad answers back with the trans, and the window is out, and the goo. There's a lot of ultimates being committed already by Hailstorm. Karsu takes out MMC, but not before that, High Noon took out uh, Spencini. There's a lot of damage gone. Spencini had his ultimate. Nobody touches him! Yeah, point! No right. one got on point! Oh no, absolute disaster from a hailstorm. Oh no, not able to get onto the point. That is round number one. Going over to Q for quarantine after being up 99 to zero. What a heartbreaking way to lose the round. Oh no. Now going on to well here. Going on to well, we're gonna see, I think Wolf is gonna stay on this Roadhog here. He's gonna be able to get some of those hooks into the well. But uh, you do see Louise, of course, on the other side and be able to get some boops in there. And Nanook is going to go over to this Lucio, which I don't mind at all. Maybe just to speed out a spawn. But uh, if he does stay on this Lucio, it's going to be great for uh, just putting a little bit of pressure. Just to put in the minds of Hailstorm that there is a Lucio on the field. They could get booped pretty easily. Rad's answering back with this Brig, which is an interesting pick. Not really something he's known for. But Meow, Meow MC getting the early damage in. Already 30% of that Echo Duplication. Super strong ability. Shizzy's turret not really getting a whole lot of value when it's already gone. And it looks like the, the team is... Uh, it looks like Q for Quarantine have already adapted very quickly. As Frosty takes out Spencini on the rotation there. Kind of caught out without his team. And now uh, Hailstorm's just kind of backing off. And they have to give away this first cap. They're gonna have to back off here unless they're able to touch the point, which it doesn't look like they will. They're gonna just back up. I think they're gonna wait for uh, for Spencini Ooh, here. Karstu in the meantime. Or wait for Karstu to geez. pop off. Takes out Meow oh. MC. That was a player we need to be watching out for this match. Wolf goes for a dive in the pool. Not exactly what you wanted from uh, the Roadhog, but uh, he gets back out. I, I don't know how it looked like he got booped there, but somehow ended up not dying. So uh, he's still alive here, which is a pretty lucky break for Hailstorm now, I would say. Absolutely, Karsu takes out Louise. That's uh, two picks now for this McCree, and it looks like he's going all pine time on them. Frosty commits the ultimate, but gets denied by that uh, immortality field. Huge value. It dupes out. That's the first ultimate we've seen beyond the, the pulse bombs, which come out pretty fast. There's a big flux. Takes out Karsu. Shizzy takes out Frosty, though. That torp makes it so hard for tracers to get work done. Absolutely. Points on the point verge of being flipped, but Meow MC is back, and he is back with a vengeance, putting out damage all around. Absolutely. Look at this. Nanook over here as well, just stalling this point out. Luis is taken though. Gets double stunned to both tanks, just committing abilities to it. He gets deleted. That Lucio is going for a rollout over top. Nanook is trying his hardest. Spencini gets deleted after a, a strong rock. Oh, big, big flux takes out three. Oh, and gets Wolf is trying with the, his ultimate, but it's not going to be enough. Kara takes out for that fight. Huge plays. Absolutely. 
Nanook is going to take this 1v1 against Than. Will he be able to finish him off? Doesn't look like it. He's going to escape back to his team. And, uh, well, 413 Hailstorm. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to figure something out here, though. Because Q for Quarantine is up at 80%, and it doesn't look like they're going to be slowing down anytime soon here. Wolf makes this move over to Ball, but it might be too little too late. Raddy engages with the ultimate. Karsu has his ultimate up to. There's already a heavy commit from uh, Hailstorm, but not a lot coming from it. They've taken rep residence on this point, but uh, it is being stalled out. The ball ultimate is committed on their side. Shizzy's committing that Torvald. A lot of this point is Molten Lava, and it, Shizzy takes two out. Huge placements. He takes out Nain on Hook, and Kara takes out Wolf. But Karsu answers on now MC. Now MC has not had a good time right now. Karsu just doesn't seem to miss active. Yeah, Karsu, uh, you know, maybe starting to wake up here. I mean, Meow MC has been getting this work done at, like, you know, throughout this point. Maybe last point did uh, kind of get shut down, but we're seeing, uh, we're seeing him kind of resurge here, come back in this map. I mean, you know, he's been getting, you know, just picks all over the place in these fights that Q for Quarantine's been winning here. So, so what's uh, the play right now if you're Q for Quarantine coming in with these ults? I mean, hit Q, win the game, maybe save up some ults uh, in this next fight, and if you really need to go in for another one, hit Q. You got 99%, I mean, and you have a big lead here. That's all you gotta do. Frosty takes out both turret and Immortality Field, but Karsu answers onto Frosty. That's a huge pick. There's the Flux and the ma Matrix behind it. Doing a lot of damage with that Kree right now, but Glitch takes out Wolf anyway. Healthy character goes down. There's a huge Flux answered back. That's gonna be a one-man from Karsu. Going down. There's a Duke Sigma on the point right now. Spencini is putting damage in, but does not win the duel against Louise in the front line. Now MC on the back line taking a rad. It's just like they're getting out angled right now. Wolf gets a return slam onto Louise, but it's uh, going to be a too little too late. There's a flux coming out, but not enough, not quick enough. Shizzy, however, going for a dip in that deep well. There is going to be a touch this time at least. Karsu is on the point. Deleted quickly, though. Wolf is stalling as long as he can. That ball gets taken out. Now it's just stragglers from Hail, uh, Hailstorm trying to get in here. Kara is on a 4k mission right now. Meow MC interrupts him, but uh, Wolf takes out Meow MC with the mines. That's kind of an awkward play. Absolutely. Just like Two. that. Oh. Just like that, Q for Quarantine. Gonna take this first map 2 to nothing. Kara absolutely, uh, you know, starting to you know, get, getting that work in. I believe he got a 4k there, and then at the end went on an absolute field day with the window. I think we can see it in this play of the game right here. Kara going absolutely crazy with these kills. A big flux is going to get two, and he does get Karsu here as well. Gigantic plays from Kara here, and uh, going into map number two, uh, Hailstorm's got to be able to find an answer here. They looked good on point number one, but uh, point number two, they looked a little bit shakier, and uh, we're going to be going into a three-minute intermission here before going into our map number two. Before we jump into that intermission, though, I'd like to point out that Elios was, in fact, the final map in the series against Hailstorm for uh, and Q for Quarantine in their last meeting. Q for Quarantine walked away with the W in a three or in a two-one win. It it was very competitive. This one maybe a little bit less. What do you what are your thoughts on that octave? I mean, that first point could have gone either way, and I mean, I assume Q for Quarantine because they picked Elios of course last match they picked Elios of course this match as well I feel like they're pretty comfortable on it so Hill and I throughout this tournament we've barely seen any Elios so 413 Hailstorm of course not a map they see very often uh of course don't count them out at all the uh, one nothing 4Q for quarantine but 413 Hailstorm can come back just as easily and uh we are absolutely Absolutely, we're going to be going into this three-minute intermission here, and uh, we will see you guys on the other side of that. We'll be right back. Working with videos can be frustrating. Show. 
Alrighty, everybody, we're back in this riveting gameplay right now. It is Nimbani going into map two for quarantine versus 413 Hailstorm. Should be a good one. I have joining me on the desk right now is 413 Octum and Octoman. What are your thoughts going into Nimbani here? I mean, uh, 413 Hailstorm, they, they gotta be able to answer here. I mean, I, I know, you know, I, I'd say from personal experience that uh, Hailstorm does tend to be quite comfortable on Nimbani, so uh, I, I think we're, you know, it was their map pick as well. Uh, we are going to be seeing a few swaps, if I'm not mistaken. I think we ha so we have Off White and Hawkshot going in for Wolf and Spencini, and uh, we also have we also have a uh, Sinox going in for Shizzy. Uh, of course, same support line, but uh, no changes on the side of Q for quarantine as well. So uh, we're going to be heading into Nimbani any second now. Um... But no, I, I think this one's going to be an extremely interesting one. I think we're I think I also think we might see some dive coming in from uh, 413 Hailstorm, like a a, a a dedicated dive. I'd say. I mean, the Ball Sigma is you know a sort of half dive comp. I'd say. However, I, I think we might see a couple of hard dive comps. They tend to be pretty good on Numbani. So uh, we are going to be going into this next map any second now. Now hopping in here. Uh, do we really think that? Um, Brawl is now completely off the table with Sigma being as strong as he is. Uh, I mean, I think we might see a little bit of Brawl here and there, especially on maybe a map like King's Row, uh, something like that. But um, I think we're going to see a lot of Ball Sigma, a lot of Hog Sigma. Because, um, I mean, Sigma's just so strong right now. Like, like how, how, do, you, how do you not play him unless you're going to go for like a hard dive or like a hard Brawl? Okay, okay. So we're about to see what they're coming out here in three seconds. We know Sino's been subbed in. What what do you think he's playing right now? Uh, I mean, if, if neither team's lying to us here, I think we're going to see him on the Echo, which, you know, I don't mind that play at all. Uh, Echo is awesome right now. Both teams, we are going to see this mirror match. The uh, Ball Sigma with the Echo Tracer, Mercy, and the Zenyatta. Which, uh, Frosty's I'd throwing say... us for a loop, though. Yeah, he's oh, going on to that. Ash, maybe he's gonna stay on that, but uh, I mean, so far this is some pretty standard stuff from both sides. I mean, uh, the only uh, the only problem I can see with the Ash here as well is Karsu and might be able to, you know, bully him a little bit. You know, he's got that extra mobility. However, Frosty's probably gonna have this Mercy Pocket, so uh, it's gonna be an interesting one going into Nabani. I think this one is really gonna really gonna set the tone of where this map where this match is gonna go next. Absolutely, and we'll see them coming out here. Sino's already thrown in the rockets, not going to get any damage off, but uh, the shield's going low for Kara already. Using it for a little extra peek from Frosty. Frosty's already up to 20% on his ultimate. Off-White has been discorded. The positioning war for this composition is intense. Both teams coming up on a high ground right now. Off-White just barely misses the slam. Rock's going across. Frosty's low. Sino follows up and takes him out, but Yamc is there on the counter dive. Than looking very low right now too. Yamc takes him out as well as Nan Good Hook gets the res. Hawkshot takes an Yamc, but it's it's already in favor for the defenders right now. Rad going a little bit low, but he looks like he's gonna get get time to get back up. And uh, nope, never mind. Louise just oh, Louise. snipes him out. That he hunts him down and takes him out. That is exactly what this composition is all about. Absolutely, picks going both ways that fight. However, I mean. When picks go both ways, uh, you know, especially on first point, it can go the way to the fender. Oh, Sino! Oh, but Sino goes big, takes oh, two. Oh, massive kills there, and that's gonna open the door right up. Sino with a third as well. He is opening the door up right now. Gets a fourth on the nuke as well. Is I think he's gonna get more. Oh. Nah, the glitch shuts him down, but I think it's too little too late. As Car takes out Carsu though, there is an opening. Off white taking out Car kind of shuts that opening though. Sino just kind of like. Showed up like damn. Yeah. Sino just went, hey, I don't want my team to lose anymore, and he just gets four. I mean, he almost got the fifth one too. I mean, uh, the glitch was uh, extremely low when when he got him, but I mean that was almost a 5k, almost an incredible play from him, and this is gonna open up the door. Hailstorm's gonna be able to move into the streets phase, and uh, they're gonna go into pretty comfortably too with a time bank of almost five minutes, 4:45 yep. here. Frosty moving over to this uh, Tracer right now. Looking to take that duel against Karsu again. Going very low. Now MC taking out Off-White on a deep dive as he drops mine. But Sino takes out Frosty on the sideline. That's a big pick as well. Both teams down one right now. Absolutely. Frosty will get res though. But Sino is out there. He's got a double Sigur right now. This could be really deadly. The pile driver onto the back line. And the ultimate. 
means that people are taking a lot of damage. Than has to pop his ultimate, keeping everyone sustained. Both Mercies are balking around. Sino doesn't manage to get anything with the Sigma Duke, but he does put a lot of damage into Luis, who just goes down. And now, now MC is on Sigma, but he's kind of in an awkward position. He's going to start taking damage pretty fast. The glitch goes is very low, but he has this trance. Hawkshot takes Meow MC out of the Duke, and uh, it looks like Rad pops Meow MC. A little bloodthirsty support. Karsu wins the duel against Frosty again, and I think at this point it's just a superior tracer from Karsu. Yeah, I mean. Uh... I gotta say, can we can we see Sino? There's another pick from him right there. Sino is absolutely taking over right now, pick after pick. You know, of course, even if he's not getting all the final blows, he's putting in significant damage to every target that uh, Hailstorm is killing right now. Absolutely, I agree. You know, Sino is one of those DPS we talk about every once in a while. It's like, where's Sino? But when you know where he is, he is going off. This man is streaky, but when he is on. I wouldn't want to play against him. This man keeps getting kills after kills. He's got another dupe. He used that in the last fight. There's a flux. Trance to answer. Oh, Meow MC too. takes out Than. There's a returning flux after Hawkshot takes out Meow MC. Kind of big. There's Rad has the trance to counter that too, though. Karsu's in the back line. Takes out Glitch, but Kara answers back. There's the mines from off point. Putting in the damage. Kara goes down to his own shots, but Frosty's in the backline, takes out Rad. Sino takes out Nan Hook, but there's another Flux coming out. Sino's dupe takes oh, out Luis, and Sino's going off. Frosty takes out Hawkshaw. Meow yeah, MC returns on to Off White, but Off White takes a death kill from the death. There's another one landed. from Sino. Sino taking out another one. This man is putting the team in the backpack right now. Frosty's trying his damnedest to take out Than, but Than gets the res first on Hawkshaw before dying. Sino's getting really low now. Not a lot of healing, but Hawkshaw takes out Nan Hook. Frosty. On a mission, he's now taking out two, trying to redeem himself a little bit. This fight is going on forever, but the defender spawn is so close that Hawkshot takes it. Another home. Rad has moved over to the Lucio to get back faster, but he dies too. Dies as well after Glitch takes him out, and Meow MC kind of going big there, taking up both DPS at the end. Frosty contested that for so long. This tracer, massive, I gotta say, quite massive good. fight from Frosty. There was able to just he was the only one left on point. I mean, Sino was just killing absolutely everything. Frosty was the only thing standing between him and pushing this card all the way in. Frosty clutches it up, stalls it out, waits for his teammates to get back, and then kills three, because why not? I think we've seen Frosty, he's coming back now. Yeah, Karsu making this move over to uh, the McCree. Doesn't want to play the Tracer anymore, even though he got a huge value on that. And they're coming up on this huge wombo combo, as you could call it. Uh, but Luis pops the mines first, trying to deny him that space. Hawkshaw's looking very low and split off in the mines. Nanho takes him out. Off White takes out Glitch, but Karsu's taking out Frosty as well. They're down by two. Off White, however, going down to the mines, that's not what you need. Then reses Hawkshaw, but Karsu pops Nan Nanhook as well. So now we're up. 4 and 3 Hailstorm coming in this with some advantage, but Meow MC takes out Sino, that defender's one just so close. Hawkshot takes out Meow MC's, but it's not enough as Luis follows up on him, and then it's back to the drawing board. Karsu taking out a pick, but I think they really got to disengage here. They're kind of burning the clock right now as Nanhook pops that uh, Bragal, so everyone's going to be nice and healthy. Oh wait, C9! Oh, it's C9! 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 Oh, I did it! Oh, I didn't even notice that they were going for it until they were like half a meter away, but off-white! comes in behind the entirety of Q for Quarantine and pushes that cart in, and that's going to save plenty of time for 413 Hailstorm. They're going to have two and a half minutes left on this clock after uh, completing all three points here. And man, what a fantastic play from him. It's just been C9 after C9 so far this match. <laughs> no kidding. That's a huge play. After after C9 went uh, the way for Hailstorm in the first map, and now uh, Off-White pulling off the redemption as he uh, C9s it from... Uh, from Q for quarantine. What do you think going into this match now, Octave? I mean, that play is going to give Hailstorm a ton of energy. That's I, I think that's going to give them some momentum here. It's going to lift their spirits a little bit after that first map, uh, that first map loss, and going to see if they can come out strong on this defense here. It looks like uh, Q for quarantine is going to be going for that same old, same old. The uh, Ball Sigma, the Echo Tracer. They are going to have that Brig Zen instead of the Mercy Zen, which I obviously I don't hate because uh, you know Brig Zen has been a a, uh, a pretty good comp so far, and as well, he's got that CC, the uh, the Brig Shield Bash, the crowd control. And every ball hates it, so uh, you know a little bit of the same old, same old going both ways here. Karsu making this move over to the Ash, though. I don't know if I love it because, in all honesty, Q for Quarantine ran the Ash as well on first point, and they didn't make it very far when Sino obliterated them. It'll be interesting to see if Meow MC can pull it off as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think uh, Karsu is going to be able to get this Mercy Pocket here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be Sino, I think, getting this Mercy Pocket, which uh, does make a lot of sense. 
Well, off -white, oh, off -white's gonna the down. person that needed the mercy pocket though was off white as he goes down to frosty in the back line. That's kind of an awkward pick. Usually you want your ball winning that duel. Rad takes out Kara, but uh, the tracer's on a, a flank right now, and Rad's about to get one clipped if he's not careful. There goes Rad, but Hawkshot takes out an ant hook and Karsu on Frosty. Am Meow MC takes out Karsu, but uh, I think it's too little too late as Off White finishes it out on Meow MC. Yeah, great res from the band there. He's going to be able to bring Off White back into this fight, uh, and he's going to be able to finish it off Meow MC there, and that's going to send Q for Quarantine back to spawn. They've got three minutes to cap this first point. No, oh, nothing to panic about yet. That's just first fight, but uh, we're going to see what they can do counter into the second fight here on attack. Absolutely, and Ultimate's coming online pretty much par for the course from everyone, but uh, this rad pick on Ana is kind of questionable when we've seen a lot of Zen in the meta recently, and Ana is um, a really diveable target. Ah, as I say that though, he's put the ball to sleep, and Karsu pops Frosty in the face. Sino takes me a Meow team and a duel in the air, and that's all you really need when both DPS are down. There's not much you can do, except Nanhook can get that kind of a flail on that kind of a Sino, and that was big value. Yeah, absolutely, and Nanook with these. Uh, with these Big whip shots. It's getting a lot of kills with them. So, uh, oh, a big res on the sign though from the fan. Another big res from him. Huge value here. Absolutely. Now it's just this spam game as they're really contesting this high ground uh, that uh, Q for Quarantine was so happy to give away on their defense. Yeah, absolutely. Hawkshaw's guarding this high ground with his life here. He's going to get Kara in this flux, but he's going to go down before he's going to be able to slam it. A lot of damage coming out right now. Karsu takes a little bit of mines, but uh, Rad is there to heal him up. A little bit more healing coming out from that uh, Ana right now. Karsu pops one, Sino another, and off by the third, and that's really all you needed. The dupe comes through, but after a bob, and uh, it looks like they're really intent on winning this as they devote two ultimates to a fight they were already up by three in. Off White yeah, takes out Kara and uh, is back to the drawing board if you're Q for quarantine. That drawing board, though, I must say includes quite a few ultimates right now. Yeah, that's true. I mean, a tick, a tick was procured there. Uh, Karsu's Bob did not get to the point quite quick enough. Uh, Q for quarantine was able to get that tick. However, uh, another convincing fight win from 413 Hailstorm. This crossfire that they're setting up with Karsu is just so powerful. They're able to get so much damage from uh, across this high ground here. Looks like they're going to go underneath. Gonna go underneath yeah. And now they're coming out, and the Tracer's gonna make a move, gonna push in onto the high ground. Uh, Meow MC gets rocked and deleted, though, by Sino and uh, Haw Hawkshaw there, and now Sino's been nanoed, going in against this uh, trans that just faded. He takes out Glitch. That nanoed Echo does so much damage. Karsu pops Nanhook, and uh, Karsu gets Kara as well. That's two picks from Karsu and two picks from Sino. I don't think you can ask much more of this DPS duo right now. Yeah, absolutely. Again, Karsu, he's just been he's just been chilling over on, on this left-hand high ground here, just raining the damage down. Uh, both of them up at 60% to their next ultimates. And Q, uh, we got to say, look, look at this uh, this ult bank difference here. We've got four ults coming up from the side of Q for quarantine. If they don't win this fight, they're uh, not looking very good to cap this first point. Paul Bomb dedicated. That's one for th three. One for four, actually, and uh, the ultimates are starting to come out, but it's not getting in a lot of value right away, and Hawkshaw's getting scary close to this next Flux. He's taking some damage, he's half health. Now MC just trying to work up to his ultimate, but uh, if he doesn't get it, that's going to be pretty sad. There goes the uh, Immortality Field out early. Nanhook takes out Sino, that's a big pick, but Hawkshaw answers back on a Nanhook. The res is there for Sino. Takara takes out Than, though. Frosty takes out Rad, and Meow MC takes out Hawkshaw. Sino is on a mission, though. He's taking out three now! Off-White takes out one, Karsu another, and it's just the ball left! Gonna, he doesn't get the tick. Karsu gets a third. What a play from Karsu on the DPS line. This masterful hit scan we're coming out right now is another Bob hits that point, and that's a full hold for 413 Hailstorm. Yeah, I mean, a map doesn't get a whole lot more dominant than that one does. I mean, Karsu just setting up these gigantic crossfires. And can, can, I, uh, can I put this out there? That fan, every single time an important teammate went down, he was able to get that res off. You know, at least three or four huge value reses here, and let's watch this play of the game. Sino getting easy two double there. right there. Where's the third? Give it to us, not oh, quite. I didn't but show the third one. It was an impressive match. Yeah, I, I'd like to put a, a little bit of a shout out here, of course, to Nanook as well on this uh, on this brig. I mean, you don't tend to see a lot of value from you don't tend to see uh, see a lot of big plays from brig. However, he's getting. So many picks with this whip shot. He's just hitting whip shot, hitting hitting these whip shots left and right, and uh, that's going to be one to one Q for quarantine versus four one three hailstorm. Uh, going into, I do believe it's going to be 
hybrid. Oh, not hybrid. No, we just uh, did hybrid. It's we gonna did, be two, we did just do hybrid, yeah. And it looks like we're going to Anubis. So that should be an awesome play to make here. Uh, Q for quarantine looking very good in this uh, slow pace game. But when it comes to the uh, fast pace, Hailstorm just kind of takes them out right in Numbani. Uh, Sino making huge plays to make that possible, though. It'll be interesting to see what the lineup is going into Anubis. Uh, however, we are going to go to a three minute break and uh, we'll catch you on the other side of that. Until then. That's uh, our intermission now. We're going into Temple of Anubis coming up soon. Thank you for quarantine and uh, form three hailstorm. Uh, Octave Man, tell me about what you think about this. Hey, I mean, it's 1 1 going into map number three, going into Anubis. I mean, I think this one's going to gear up to be an extremely close one. And uh, I mean, this match, an extremely important one as well. Uh, these, if you didn't know already, are the qualifiers for the playoffs. So uh, it's a single elimination, one game. Uh, whoever wins it moves on to the quarterfinals. And uh, whoever loses this goes home. They'll be out of the tournament. And uh, whoever wins this will be going up against Hailstorm in the quarterfinals. Not 4 one 3 not to be confused with 4 one 3 Hailstorm. We have 4 one 3 Hailstorm playing today. If they win, it'll be 4 one 3 Hailstorm versus Hailstorm in the quarterfinals. And uh, I mean, Hailstorm is looking probably like the best team in this tournament so far uh again arguable considering wvu mountaineers is also up there but hailstorm with a clean eight and O record so uh whoever goes up against them is you know they're gonna have uh, a little bit of an upset to make if they're gonna move on to the semifinals. it is a double elimination bracket uh, after after the qualifiers it is a double elimination bracket so um if they if the winner of this does lose to Hailstorm, that's not it for them. But uh, again, this match, incredibly important. It's win or go home in this match right now. And uh, it's going to be a close one. I'm so excited for it. Anubis, a great map. We see it. 2CP, however, like the bane of everyone's existence. And it looks like we're going same old, same old with uh, Frosty on this uh, Ash pick and Karsu on the Widow pick being the only differences coming into this. No lineup changes, I might add. Uh, it looks like uh, both teams deciding to stick with it um octave do you know if q for quarantine has any subs uh they do not i don't think so i believe it's only 413 hailstorm that has subs today they have spencini they have uh shizzy and they also have uh wolf yeah on the sideline wolf, yes on, how do you think the, that plays it right now uh, i mean they got the subs they have the versatility i mean uh Q for quarantine, they've looked good with, with the lineup they have in right now. And I mean, if they don't need subs, they don't need subs. But uh, I mean, it's always nice to have a few players on your bench for that depth. Absolutely. Frosty taking an early hit on the, the health, but uh, also a bump on the ultimate charge. Meow he goes really low to those bombs, though. Sino is hunting, but Frosty gets the shot, takes out Sino. These maps are very hits in favor. Those long sight lines make it difficult for anyone to move like Than just there, getting taken out by that pocketed Ash. Absolutely, Frosty with a couple there, and that's going to force Hailstorm to back all the way up at their spawn. They're going to have to wait for this Echo Mercy combo before they can come in again. Now, Off-White's on this high ground. He's going to roll through, take a couple people off. A car is in a rough place, so is Frosty right now as the team pushes into him. Sino's there to clean both of them up. Huge play from Off-White and Sino. Great coordination. Meow MC getting healed up right now by uh, Nanhook, but Nanhook is exposed where he is, and Sino hunts down Glitch and puts Another a lot of damage to Sino. Nanhook. Off-White takes out Meow MC, and that's a 3k right now from Sino. Popping off in this game as the balls are on spin-to-win mode. Sino, Sino takes out Nanhook. Oh my god, we might as well just count what Sino does. If this camera isn't on him right now, I don't know who it's on. Because Frosty's trying, but he's already half health. It looks like it's going to be another kill for Sino if they're not careful. Uh, 
Absolutely, Sino going gigantic. Another 4K from him. I mean, this guy's been going absolutely crazy on this Echo. Play after play, just able to push. It, it, it's been a real difference maker so far. Now MC putting his name in that kill feed as well. As he takes out Karsu, then the res though. It'll be interesting. This Widow versus Ash duel is a tough one when Ash has a pocket and just hit. The shot rate is just so much faster. Off white putting damage in. Sino going half health already though. Off-White has this ultimate in Sino too, but Meow MC is kind of lacking, so here we go. Off-White takes out Nanhook, that's a huge first pick. No res because the Mercy can't res herself. There's the Mines coming out. Hawkshot takes out Kara in the middle of the Mines. The Bob is on the point to contest. Luis takes out Hawkshot, but is it going to be enough? Off-White looking very unhealthy, but so is Luis, and the Nathan has popped his ultimate. He's flying around trying to heal up everybody. Sino has his ultimate as well, but takes out by Meow MC, and that's going to be, I think, back to the drawing board now. Karsu is going to take a couple of exiting shots, but... Uh, Oh, the res on Sino makes this fight doable, but Glitch taking a rad to Kara, immediately answering on Sino. That's 200 HP of all charge just handed over to Kara, and he says, nom. Nah. Absolutely, and uh, it's going to be 4 and 3 Hail. Sharma's going to go back to this drawing board. They do have four and a half minutes to get into this second point, but as we all know, on uh, on Assault, you know, uh, five minutes can go by extremely quickly if you're not careful. Red Sight's coming out. The ball is there to slam in. Glitch going real low. Karsu finds the shot. The flux is there, but I think it got... Oh, it did come got down. Did, did a lot of damage. A lot of damage going out right now. Uh, uh, Frost off-white goes down next, but the, the dupe is out. There's another flux coming out. Both trans is out to sustain the teams. Than is taking a little bit of damage. Has to back off. Sino gets immediately removed from his duplication form. That was a lot of damage. Sino answers back with two kill. Glitch and Kara again going down. Meow MC takes out Karsu in the back, but will that be enough? Meow MC takes out Rad in the back line too. Sino going off. These echoes are controlling the pace of this game. Sino takes out two. Dan Hook gets the res on a Frosty though. Huge res coming out. There's a flux coming out from uh, Kara right now. Puts Hawkshaw in the ground. Than pops those Valk wings, but I think it might be too little too late. Rad is deep in enemy territory right now. Takes gets taken out by Glitch on this Moira pick, probably there for the stall. I don't think he's going to stay on it though. Looks like he's going back to spawn to switch. Yeah, absolutely. And for the hails from another fight loss for them. I mean, as as many kills as Sino is getting, I mean, there needs to be a little bit more from them. I mean, Sino was able to get four. That the echoes just clashing back and forth, but in the end, it just was not enough. And I mean, that's assault for you. I mean, one of your DPS can get four kills, and you still don't. I mean, they, they do have a tick, but I mean, if you don't win the point there, it's that that's what Assault's all about. Yeah, and now Off-White pops his ultimates on, on the uh, point. It's immediately cleared by Kara, but uh, that means Kara doesn't have a lot of shield. Karsu in the back line takes out Glitch. That's kind of awkward. Uh, Off-White does a roll through, does a lot of damage to Frosty. He's getting very low right now. Hawkshot takes out Louise on the front line, but Kara answers back onto Off-White. Both balls taking a dirt nap right now. Hawkshot takes out Meow and Another one. Very aggressive for the, the kill. Nanhook gets the res. That's not what you want to see, but Karsu bounces back on a Frosty. He pops his balls, mid Hawkshot eats the dust, and Sinos moves over to the Ash Duke. He's already got his bob up. Will he use it? Yeah, there it's in. Glitch is already looking unhealthy. Sino takes him out with a clean shot, but Meow MC takes Sino out of that Duke form. Nanhook has these wings. He's stalling out the point with Louise. There's a lot of damage coming out. Frosty's back, doing damage to Off White. Karsu's doing his best right now, but I don't think it's going to be enough against them. The Echo as uh, Sino takes out Luis, but uh, not before both Frost, uh, Karsu and Rad go down. Yeah, absolutely, again, Sino, it, it, it's the same old story. Sino getting kill after kill, and uh, no one else from Hailstorm can really participate. I mean, we did see Hawkshaw getting a few kills that last fight as well, but I mean, off-white on this ball is just dying far too often, and it's, it's so tough to cap this point when you don't have the, when you just don't have that point presence that ball has. Right now, off white makes this move over to Reinhardt. Not really a favorable pick, but has a lot more survivability perhaps if you play it really slow. Trouble is, Reinhardt needs a lot of pocketing to get through, so we'll see how, what kind of damage he can pull off with these insta shatters. Absolutely, a lot of old zero swaps inside of Hillstorm. They got four. They're up. The Zen's in the sky. He's looking low health already. Frosty goes down to Karsu, and off white takes him out. Kara out with a pin. That's a ruthless play from. Off-White right now, Meow MC takes out Rad, Glitch takes out Karsu, Off-White returning onto that dupe form, and uh, Off-White oh, is just hammering fire strike. right now. Nanhook gets the res on Kara though, there is a front line, that Flux goes off, but the Rad, Rad is there with the trance to sustain, however the bombs are now on the ground, there's a huge combo, Bob going in there too, it's still only one tick and 53 seconds, counting down. 
Wow, again, just like I said, on Assault, I mean, five minutes can disappear extremely quickly, and that's exactly what's happening here. I mean, Hawkshaw, gonna go over to that Zarya here. But I, I wanted to point out, Off-White had a... I, I do believe he killed Meow MC, but it was with a Fire Strike. It was this aerial Fire Strike, absolutely beautiful from him. I mean, the Reinhardt certainly has been better so far than the ball pick for him. So, uh, 30 seconds. Going to this next point, we are seeing a couple swaps. Than and Rad both gonna be switching. Gonna reset their old banks, which is a little bit questionable, but we're gonna see what they can do here. Hawkshaw as well moved over to the Zarya. No flux coming out, but uh, that grab could be big. They had to use the lamp already from the damage. Sino is getting close to this uh, dupe, but there is gonna be a trance to answer it, so who is he gonna do? That's really gonna get that kind of value. Karsu takes Frosty in the sideline, though. That's a huge pick from the Tracer Duel. Hawkshot takes out Meow MC going for the fan. Glitch takes out Off White, getting maybe a little bit too aggressive. And then he trans to keep his team alive as Nanfuck reses Meow MC. No stun to stop her. The dupe is out from Sino though, and he's building that he's building it fast, but he gets taken out by Glitch, who gets immediately removed by Kar Karsu. Sino is up in the air taking out Kara. Karsu takes out another. That's three for this man in this fight. Nanhook is just trying to survive as Than takes out Frosty, and Frosty not really getting any another purchase right Karsu. now. 4k for Karsu right now, give him the 5, Louise does not get out of this, he pops the mines on point, but there's the second tip coming up, Off-White clearing mines with his hammer, Louise is on the point, going for Than, Than is getting hard dove right now by this ball, the shatter is out, lays them on the ground though, Off-White cleaning up the rest of the team as the, the flankers are in the back line, not getting enough value right now, Hawkshot takes 2 out at the end, the pin going through, trying to clear everyone off, Off-White hits him with the hammer, what a long range shot, and Hawkshot takes out Frosty, just has not been able to get out of spawn. Absolutely, and finally, 4 3 Hailstorm is able to cap this second point. Zero seconds, zero milliseconds on this clock. However, both points were capped. And I mean, I, uh, <clears throat> Karsu, absolutely crazy. He got four in that last fight. I mean, you know, Sino was getting kill after kill uh, in these beginning fights, and then Karsu just took over in that last fight on the Tracer. Uh, I think the Rhine Zarya definitely worked a lot better for them, considering Off White was dying significantly less. I mean, on this ball, he would be, you know, the first, maybe second player to die every fight on the side of Hailstorm. Uh, exact, not exactly the best case scenario. However, both points capped, so you know, Hailstorm's still looking pretty good here. Hailstorm looks to make this move back over to this ball sigma, but this time, Rad is moving on to the Mercy instead of Than, and Than is taking up the Ana instead of Rad. So it looks like a little bit of a switcheroo positions right now. Sign up staying on this Echo, respectively, of course, and Karsu moving over to this Ash. I'll be interested to see if they can full hold this again with this same composition. Absolutely. I mean, Than definitely, uh, Ana definitely is best hero, so I don't disagree with this at all, having Rad go over to that Mercy. Um, the only, the only super big difference here is that, uh, that support line, and of course the Ash versus Tracer duel, but, uh, this one's going to be an interesting one. We're going to see what Q for Quarantine can do. I mean, there was a shutdown defense on Numbani last time. Let's see if Hailstorm can repeat the same thing. Off-White going for this sneaky little roll through right now, hoping to get a little bit of extra ult charge coming off. But uh, it looks like Luis is wasting no time going on a backline flank. He's already kind of getting around in the side room. Car is taking a lot of damage trying to get through. The spam from Hawkshot is really oppressive. A lot of damage coming off. Sino oh, picks off sleep. Frosty. As he goes through, what a sleep from a Than beautiful. takes the Tracer yeah. out of the game. And a lot of us are talking about how, you know, Tracer's probably the best hero in the game. Not when she's taking a nap time, though. Yeah, absolutely, Than. Beautiful fun. sleep. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Tracer can go down really easily if, uh, if, 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 it's, uh, if a Tracer slept, it's kind of difficult to live. Now, they're just kind of sustaining in the side room. Not really ideal. You kind of wanted to push that if you had a chance. Hawkshaw getting Hawkshaw very low right now. Low. They're hunting him, but he's going to escape. Gets back to half health, Sino's low, and Than goes down to Frosty, the return, revenge. Sino takes out Nanhook though, Off-White takes out Glitch, Kara on Sino, but Rad is there with the res on Than. Now MC takes out Kar Karsu and Rad, Louise takes out Hawkshaw, and I think that's going to be all she wrote. Maybe Off-White can stall it a little longer, but this first point I think is over. Yeah, first point's over, it's going to go to Q for Quarantine, and uh, they're going to have a pretty comfortable time bank going into the second point. And, Good uh, play from Yao MC there, picking up maybe two or three in that fight. Karsu makes this move over to the McCree very quickly. Rad moving over to the Tracer. Uh, to, oh, sorry, not over to the Zen, but over to the Brig. So there's a lot of stuns right now up here on the side of uh, Hailstorm. I don't think I'd want to be, be a Ball, a Tracer, or an Echo right now. Yeah, it's absolutely true. The CC is just everywhere here. 
balls meet up on the side, and it looks like Luisa wins that exchange. Off White has to back off a little bit, and they're rotating around this left room here, exactly where I would go personally. Um, Hawkshaw's raining some damage in, but I think he needs to back off soon as Frosty goes down to takes out Sino. Kara takes out Hawkshaw. Kind of overextended there. Off-White takes an awful lot of stuns right now, and uh, Sino's... has uh, been nano but I don't think he's getting the value out of it he really wanted. Electric Cowboy, not quite what we needed. Kara takes a rad. Off-White getting stunned. Hell, there is a duped break right now on this point, and I would not want to play him for that. Meow MC takes out Hawkshaw. Kara takes out Sino's dupe, and that's uh, an appalling time bank right now at 4.42. Yeah. Four minutes, 42 seconds, and, uh, well, I mean, there's not going to be any time here for Hailstorm. They had zero seconds left on this clock, and that means, that means here that Q for Quarantine is going to have almost five minutes to cap a single tick on point one. Uh, it's going to be, uh, pretty tough here for Hailstorm to, you know, get anything done here. I mean, it's no longer winnable for them, so, uh, they're looking at either a loss or a draw, but uh, we're going to see if... Maybe they can pull off the hold of the century here and, uh, you know, kill off five minutes. So, what do you do if you're four and three hailstorm coming into this? I mean, uh, you might have to pray a little bit. Um, <laughs> considering, I mean, you know, of course, everyone here plays competitive. You, you play on the competitive ladder. I mean, if you're going up against this time bank, you know, your hopes aren't exactly super high. But I mean, if you're hailstorm, you gotta, you know, pick yourself up. You gotta. Of course, put in your all, and maybe, just maybe, you could pull off a miracle. Okay, so we're going for this uh, Hog Sigma play. I'm not really keen on it, as uh, Hog kind of gets uh, deleted a lot when you're up against a Zen, a Brig, and an Echo, but we'll see how it goes. Sino moves over to this Ash. He's been popping off a lot, and Karsu takes the Kree, so there's a double hit scan right now. We'll see how it plays out. Than is on the Mercy, Rad is on the Zen, so there's a lot of damage coming out right now if you're a Hailstorm, but not a lot of sustain. Ball taking this flank around. Ball's just gonna pepper some damage here around on the side. Oh, on the high ground here, probably looking to take out Rad when he gets the chance. Frosty's making this maneuver here. There's a dynamite going in, not catching an awful lot. Car goes pretty low though. Karsu is, in fact, discorded, but Sino pops Frosty and Off White pops Kara, and that's exactly what you needed. Off White taking this long angle right now, and now they're trapped. Now they push in. The hook. Kill, glitches out. Karsu takes out Nanhook and Meow MC, and there's just no escape from this team. That's exactly the clinic you want to see from Sigma Hog as this, the two tanks take different angles. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful pincer, uh, pincer move here. And, uh, well, that's exactly what you needed if you're 4 and 3 Hailstorm. You needed to start off strong, and that is a minute already burnt down off the clock of Q for Quarantine. They've got 3 minutes, 45 seconds, and if I'm them, I'm just going to build up some ultimates, hit Q, win video game. I mean, what do you think? I think that would probably be the play here, but it's going to be tough when you're already a minute into it and your tanks are at 30% to ultimate. Like, this is going to be a long freaking game. You've been seeing these fights go really fast, but that last one seemed just dominant. So the tanks are contesting this high ground, holding up on their own. And uh, it looks like the Tracer and the Ball are in the back line, trying to force their cars through. Hawkshaw getting very low. Positional mistakes cost them last point. Let's see if it costs them this time. Not when Sino pop, pops Sino. off Frosty like that. Cars who pops Louise and Nanhook follows up on Hawkshaw, but I think that's too little too late when you're missing that much damage from your front line. Your dive team is gone. It's just the Sigma team right now. And Sino is popping in an awful lot of damage as uh, Kara's shield is now gone. And there's an echo on the flank, but that bob going in there is going to sustain them just fine. Off White gets a long range hook with Jamao MC in a dirt nap. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, Nanook again, just getting whip shot after whip shot. So many kills coming in from Nanook here. Beautiful plays here, but it looks like Q for Quarantine's going to have to wait into this in this left hand room. They've got 2.30 left on this clock. They're about halfway through their time already. Yeah, and it looks like Off-White's playing this Roadhog very well. Uh, Frosty and Louise taking the side angle. Again, you really got to delete that Zenyatta if you're running a dive team like that. But uh, they're just, Rad's kind of living a pressure-free life right now, and that can't happen. Karsu babysitting them a little bit. There's the dupe. There's a Flux coming out, but it's been high noon, and there's a trance to sustain out of it. Uh, Off-White is forcing that whole team back right now with his ultimate sustaining an awful long time, and Hawkshaw has his ultimate if they need it. The brakes, the sustain is there, and a trance. 
for all but one little Sigma ult. That's not a good uh, ult exchange. Karsu pops me out and see out of all those ultimates. Karsu takes Frosty too. There's no TPS remaining. Karsu takes a 3k. Karsu's not missing. Kara goes That's down crazy. and it's back to the spawn. And Glitch is making a last ditch attempt. Takes out Rad, but Sino pops Glitch right back. And Rad's gonna have a long walk back. But Than says, nope. I've got a res. You guys can get dumpster. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, look at this. A minute 30 only left for Q for quarantine. I mean, if if uh, Hailstorm can keep going the way they're going, they might be able to pull it off. I mean, they had 4 minutes 45 seconds on the clock going into this, and they've only got a minute 15 left. They've run the same strat for every offensive push here. Now they're changing it up. The ball and the tracer are taking this left room here, but that hook is oh, always the man hook is right out of the fight. Oh, Long no. range rock takes car suit, but that's a not a lot enough damage to really finish someone off. And now they have to wait this 10 seconds and hope that Nan Hook can cross this choke without eating another hook. Off White knows exactly what his mission is. His mission is to make sure this kid does not get to respawn. He is already prepared to shut it down. He misses it almost. Yeah, he doesn't get that hook. And now they're engaging on Off White, who has his breather. He walks away for free, and Sino takes the MC in the chaos. Hawkshot pops Frosty. And this is like worst case scenario. There's 31 seconds left, and your team is respawning. They have no DPS, and that hook goes down. This Roadhog is in the back line, takes out Glitch. Are they going to even touch? Is anyone gonna touch? They got 20 seconds left. And I mean, Sigma's even... getting body blocked. Shot to death. Hawkshaw removes him from the game. They have 17 seconds. Glitch moves over to the Moira. Nanhook is still on this Baptiste. I don't think I've seen a Bap ult yet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, five ults here from the side of 413 Hailstorm. Even if they do touch, it's gonna oh. be difficult. And the high noon just zone them right off. Doesn't quite get that kill, but Off White has his ultimate, forces Luis to death. Sino takes out Meow MC, and there's a trance to sustain them. Karsu pops Kara and Nan Hook. This man doesn't miss this round. Sino pops Glitch too. It has been play after play after play. These DPS are putting on a highlight reel for us. Wow, wow, just like that. 413 Hailstorm kills off almost five minutes for one tick, and they're able to pull off the draw. It is the defense of the century a great defense for them that's gonna force a draw this game is gonna stay at one to one folks do not leave your seats because this one is gonna be a close one i just know it huge plays of course coming up from all the dps i i gotta say this has been one rocker of a game and i am excited to see more oh my goodness one to one going into map number four uh I do believe, which one? I think we're going to see Escort is next, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's Escort the one we haven't played yet. Yeah, um, and of course, this tournament is first to three. So I think no matter what, now we go to a map five, which is exactly what I want to see. Yeah, absolutely. No matter what, we go to a map five. And I mean, if uh, if the lords above smile down on us, I mean, we might even get a map six. Uh, that, that would be, be our really first map six in this tournament, too. I am very hyped for that one. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we are going to be going into a three minute intermission before going into this map number three or not, map number four. Sorry. Um, and we will see you guys on the other side. Don't leave your seats because this one is going to be a close one, folks. Stick around. See you now. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. We're going into this game. We do have a two minute extra intermission here, but I just had to share this with you. Octave, did you know it is possible for us to see a map eight right now? It is, in fact, possible for us to go to a map eight. I mean, of course, extremely unlikely that it would happen. However, I mean, again, if somehow the luck goes our way and it goes the spectator's way, we could possibly see map eight if we draw enough maps i personally would not complain i can see I sino and karsu play all night oh absolutely i could watch all of these dps i could watch every single one of these players play all day and uh we are gonna be going into map number four after after a little break here uh one of the 413 hailstorm players is having a little bit of a uh 
an internet problem here. So that gives us a couple minutes to, uh, to you know, talk about our predictions. So uh, we're going into Route 66 next. Uh, who do you think is going to pull ahead here? I I like how Hailstorm ended that last map. I think if they keep that momentum going, going into Route 66, uh, definitely a great Sigma Hog map. Uh, they can definitely maintain this lead. Um, and then going into Control, I think Q for Quarantine might take that one. So I, I definitely see a map 6 coming our way. Um, and I think I'm... I'm really excited by Sino and Karsu, of course, because DPS are just more fun to watch. But also, Nanhook and Glitch have been consistently performing right now. Absolutely. I mean, just look... Again, I, I said this earlier, but um, you don't tend to see a lot of great Brig plays, but Nanook on this Brig has just been left and right, hitting whip shots, keeping that Inspire up, absolutely just putting out that sustain. And uh, I mean, of course, it is supports, so not exactly, it's not, of course, as fun to watch as DPS. However, some good support play gameplay, pretty entertaining. Um, I mean, if 4 and 3 Hailstorm can, you know, keep up these rock solid defenses, I mean, we saw uh, on Numbani, we saw that first point defense absolutely locked down, full hold. And then, of course, Anubis, another lockdown defense. So, I mean, if this keeps going the way it's going, Route 66, it might be pretty tough for uh, for Q for Quarantine to get past. I absolutely agree. Um, beyond that, though, what kind of DPS, or what kind of tank picks, sorry, do you think we're coming out with here? Because I we saw Off-White and Hawkshaw for a brief moment pull out that Ryan Zarya, and they actually did cap as soon as they did that. Is that playable on Route 66? Uh, I mean, it's not as playable. I mean, um, you're, we're probably going to see a lot of Sigma, considering Sigma's always been pretty good on this map. Sigma is, uh, again, Sigma's basically too good to not play right now. Um, I, I think we're going to see more of the ball Sigma, just like we've been seeing all game so far. I, again, I don't think we're going to see anything special here. Probably going to see more Echoes, probably going to see some some Ash. I, mean, I don't think it's going to be anything special in terms of comps, but... Uh, Again, it's still going to be an interesting one. It's going to be close. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, do you think we're going to see any subs coming in? Um, probably not. I mean, considering uh, this 4-on-3 Hailstorm lineup did win map number 2, and they were able to pull off that insane defense on map 3 there. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to see any subs, but you never know. Yeah, and as we're starting up this game right now, I am very excited for what we roll out on here for compositions. Uh, absolutely. We're going to have to wait about 30 seconds to uh, to see these comps, but... Off-White Hawkshaw already teasing us a little bit with that uh, Ball Sigma, but in all honesty, don't do it. Just do me a favor, run a Sigma Hog, okay? I liked it a lot more. Yeah, I mean, the, the Hog, absolutely fantastic on Anubis there, was able to really... Uh, pincer in the uh the attackers there able to really exploit players that were out of position and wait a couple more seconds we can see these comps uh looks like it's gonna be a little bit of the same old same old however louis okay louis and Cara, i vote louis. you now because you listen to me <laughs> we're seeing louis over on this uh road dog here i mean he's been on ball this entire time again don't exactly know what he can do on this road hog but I mean, you never know. We, we could see an absolutely crazy performance from him. Glitch moving over to this, uh, this bat pick here, too. Looking like uh, they want something to get them through, but put out uh, more healing than that uh, Zen that Rad has opted in, in for. Sinu and Karsu on this Tracer Echo. I don't disagree with that at all. Yeah, see absolutely. how Frosty can pull it off. He's got the the mercy ideally to pocket him eventually as uh after meowms he gets some early damage in which kind of falters but okay yep absolutely i mean uh you're gonna be pushing this card forward pretty nicely here of course at the beginning uh you get a lot of free card pushing at the beginning of route 66 there's a lot of empty space there most off teams tend to hold on this diner so off white and uh cars do already grouped together in this back line looking to make an engagement probably on anyone slow enough to fall down and then they're already putting in damage. Kara getting very low. But uh, they're kind of still walking this point in for free. There goes the Immortality Field for relatively no cost, too. Uh, so the dive backs off. 
resets. Probably getting ready to go again. Karsu's in the back line, putting a lot of damage in on Manhook and Meow MC, but no kills yet to be claimed, and this card is still just rolling right now. Hawkshot gets stunned up. A lot of damage going in. Sino pops off Glitch, though, and Meow MC answers back on a Hawk. This is still a winnable fight. Man gets res, Glitch gets res, Both so no res. kills have been exchanged yet. Another Immortality Field comes out, so they're sustaining pretty well, but Sino takes it out and follows up on Glitch. Now there's a big chunky healing going. Sino takes out Nanhook too. No healing at all. Rad takes out Meow MC. Hawkshot takes out Frosty, and Rad takes out Louise. 2k for Rad there. Off-white, following it up on Kara, and uh, that point is going to be Absolutely. A few more big kills from Sino there. I mean, once that res is out, those kills are permanent. So, uh, of course, Rad as well with that 2k. And, uh, 4 and 3 Hailstorm gonna go into this next point with 4 ults to their name. Off and well no lamp to ult. speak of. Glitch has been throwing these out like candy. Frosty Sino answers out on Sino and Frosty takes out Than. So that's a, that's maybe a bit of an order extension from our Mercy Echo duo. But uh, they were very close to taking out Glitch there, so almost worth and value. Do you think they're playing Glitch just on this hit scan kind of support to put more pressure on Sino? That nah, could be that, but I mean, Bab is also great for the sustain. He's got the immortality field as well. So there could be plenty of reasons for it. Yeah, OMC takes out Sino on an aggressive dive play, and he follows up on Than as quickly after as Than has no escape. Yeah, that's going to be back to the drawing board as this Echo Mercy duo are now gold in deaths. Yeah, absolutely, both of them going down twice uh, there. And that's going to force 4 and 3 Hellstorm to kind of back up, reset here. Going to have to go in again. They've still got a few ults in their name. they got four going into it. Hawkshaw as well, almost to that, uh, to that Gravitic Flux as well. Karsu and Off-White looking to group up and put a, a little bit of damage on this back line. That ball ultimately comes out really quickly and Sino takes out Frosty after Meow MC answers on Hawkshaw. And Off-White is now caught in a kill on Kara. There's a dupe coming out from both sides. There's a duped Roadhog and a duped Ball. We'll see who can get a little bit more damage in right now. Both res is going off at the same time. Off-White takes out Meow MC on that dupe and Roadhog's ultimate is already coming out from the dupe side. So I think uh, Sino's winning this Echo duel right now. The hook almost lands on uh, Luis, but Luis has just enough to know how to walk away from it. Doesn't need it. Hawkshaw with his ultimate now, but the dive is coming in, and uh, they're relentless. Sino takes out Meow MC. The flux is coming out. A lot of players are half health, and Sino just gets in there with that Echo pocket, takes them out. He's pushing in on Dan on uh, Man Hook right now, and uh, there's a lot of damage coming out. Glitch very low right now. Sino fishing with that laser and doesn't quite find it, but he does get hooked and almost deleted. Luis, uh, maybe a blooper moment as Rad takes him out of the game. And uh, I don't think anyone's going to touch this. Uh, again, almost a relatively uncontested point once it got rolling. Once it got rolling, I mean, going into this third point, they got 4 minutes 30 seconds left on this clock to try to cap this last point. And I mean, I got to point out Meow MC, uh, even though not. There's a kill for him as well, but uh, even though it hasn't been in that kill feed as much as Sino, he's been putting so much pressure on Hawkshaw here so far. Hawkshaw really not able to get all that much value in because now MC is all over him so far. Absolutely, I agree, but now it's the duel of the Echoes as they're both coming up on this um, ultimate again. The first ultimate to lay down though is this Ant Matrix, so there's a lot of damage. Hawkshaw has to be very careful. He's very high health though after he got a little bit of eating done. Luis up there contesting his card, looking, fishing for a hook, but the ball ultimate in the back line. Lamp has been used to sustain through it. Rad takes out the lamp, and there's a flux now, but I, Rad's very close to a trance to answer. Sino uses his ultimate, and now there's a double Sigma on the field. Both are very close to their ultimates. I would not want to be standing there. A lot of spam coming out. Yao MC. Dupe Sigma, but he's in the back line right now. Kind of an awkward positioning, taking an awful lot of damage. Karsu takes out two right now. Off-White pops Luis, and Sino pops a third on a Kara. Karsu, 3k right now in this fight. Nanhook is down. Than takes out Meow MC, goes aggressive with that Mercy gun, and gets the res onto Rad. I don't think anyone's going to touch this. Oh, as I say that, Luis does get the touch, just barely. Now it's spin to win time, as the ball is running around. Kara does a lot of damage onto... Hawkshaw, but Carson is going off right now. This is technically a 6k if you count it as all one fight. Meow is back on this Doomfist pick. Instant kill, instant death. That's how kind of Doom survives, though. It's a great for the stall. Frosty taking a lot of damage right now on the middle of the point, just trying to stall, but the Bob is out there doing a lot of work. Carsu, that's a 7k technically if you count it as the same fight. Kara, there's a lot of swaps coming out for the stall, but the stall is going to work. 0.31 meters left. Point. 3-1 meters, so close. Karsu would kill after kill, however, it's just not enough. The spam is too much. And I mean, Hailstorm just not able to get, uh, not able to convert these kills quite fast enough. 
They do, however, have 2 minutes 20 seconds to finish this map, so they do have some time on the clock. I'm surprised no one's going for a C9 here, to be completely honest with you. I, uh, I think they're kind of guarding it right now. Glitch is definitely guarding yeah, it. Glitch Brad is definitely moves guarding over that, the, yeah. Uh, Brad has moved over to the brig. The Ball ultimate, again, is exactly how they started the last fight, too. It comes out, forces them off the high ground. Off-White's rolling around through. Karsu pops Meow Meow MC in this chaos, yeah. and they've taken up the high ground. Confirmly, Karsu has moved over to this for three, and he's controlling this space. It is a death zone if anyone walks into it. Sino has this duplication. I think he's going to use it. Pops it onto the Sigma. There's a double Sigma on the field. Again, a very lethal combination. Both Mercies in the air. Valking Hawkshot takes out Glitch after Off-White pops Kara. Louise pops his ultimate and gets value on Rat. But I think it's too little too late. Hawkshot pops Louise. Off-White on Frosty. Karsu pops Nanhook. And now it's just Glitch contesting the point. He's down two to Cars two. That's it. Done. Done. One minute, 25 seconds left on the clock for 413 Hailstorm. Uh, they were able to complete the map, so we're going to see if Q for Quarantine, what they can do to uh, respond here. Well, we're going to see if 413 Hailstorm can maybe put down one of these lockdown defenses that they've been, uh, that they've been able to put forth so far. But uh, we're going to see if they can respond here. Now, Off-White has had some redemption time on this ball. He's been getting an awful lot of ults, a good disruption going off. What kind of composition do we see coming out from them now? I mean, again, I think we're still going to see a little bit of the same old, same old. We might see a little bit of the Roadhog, a little bit more of the Roadhog. Uh, however, oh, we are going to see Off-White on this hog, which I definitely agree with, considering he was such a lockdown hog on this uh, on Temple of Anubis and that fantastic defense. Now Frosty's looking to answer back against Karsu on this uh, McCree pick, but Meow MC sticking the Echo while Sinem moves over to the Ash. This is almost exactly the composition, if not exactly the composition they used to lock down Anubis. Do you think Q for Quarantine has the tools to get through it this time? Uh, again, I don't exactly know. I mean, considering they weren't able to find the answer to this composition on Temple of Anubis, I don't know if they're going to be able to, uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it on Route 66. Maybe they've learned their lesson, but maybe not. We're going to have to see how it goes here. Alright, seems like a pretty standard rollout. Ball is taking a long angle, and Meowam's you getting some poke. No real damage. It's free cart push up to this corner. I'd like to see if Hawkshot can contest it. You can actually contest it from this ledge here. Karsu backing up Off-White in the side room, but they're both taking a little bit of damage. Than has flown over. Off-White just controlling this high ground right now, trying to make them fight for every second they live up there, and that's a huge slam coming out from Luis. A lot of ult charge coming out. Hawkshot just trying to contest it from the high ground. He takes an awful lot of damage, but Off-White picks Frosty, and that's exactly what you needed. The, the lamp is down on point, but Off-White is there. takes it out, too. Karsu with a second one now. Glitch is down. Than takes out... Than gets the res on the Sino, my bad. And uh, it looks like an entire team of Hailstorm versus not an entire team of Q. Yeah, absolutely. Q4 is going to have to back up. They're going to have to reset. And uh, they're going to have to push into this one more time. Off-White is just getting pick after pick, getting these early fight, uh, early fight picks. They're going to have to shut him down somehow. That's a missed rock from Carr. He's going to be wanting that one back. Sino pops an ant hook on the rotation there. No cover for him to be seen. Hawkshot takes out Frosty on this low ground, and uh, that's an awful lot of damage going out. It's exactly what you need to see is this Sigma and this Hog taking these separate angles. It forcing the team to make mistakes, and your DPS are there to capitalize. Yeah, and I mean, I gotta say, one thing that I'm surprised we're not seeing is, I'm surprised we're not seeing Glitch on the Zenyatta. Zenyatta is always a great tool to try to shut down this hog here. I'm surprised we're not seeing it so far. That or a Brig as well, because CC does tend to be quite good against this hog as well. I'm surprised Absolutely. we're not seeing any of that so far. Luis has, has in fact moved over to the Roadhog, though. He, he was looking like he wanted to contest it, but now the entire team is going underneath. What a play. Are they going to expect it? Luis hits the hook. Huge damage. Yeah, two, though. The RMC takes out two, but there is a flux going on and a whole hog to try and push them back. I don't know if it's going to be enough. The RMC takes out a third now. Off-White answering on Luis, though, and Rat on Glitch. This could be a Zen play if with another. possible. Probably not. Oh! Rat pops another! Two HP and a dream. Nanhook gets the res, but and now it's Frosty v. Rad. They're going for another one-on-one. -on -one. The dynamite Can misses. Rad Rad's still alive. Sino pops Rad, Frosty out of position. Rad made it out. Rad made it out of the fight alive somehow. Somehow, now, some way. I think this man just straight out outplayed them. 
So Bob is now on the point contesting. Luis has to leave this really quickly or he's going to get melted. Oh, Luis goes down. Karsu <laughs> pops Luis on the exit, and that's not what you want to see. That was supposed to be their moment. Yeah, absolutely. Despite four kills from YMC, huge place for him. It's just not quite enough. Not able to get that point to this first uh, to this first point yet. They've got one minute left on the clock to try to get this payload uh, into the second point because, I mean, so far this defense has been absolutely locked down. You know what it was? It was jealousy. Ryan heard us talking about Nanhook and Glitch, and he was like, nah, dude, I'm the biggest, baddest support in this lobby. That's absolutely true. I, I think it's. I mean, he's got a little bit of an ego on him, I can see, of course. <laughs> Karsu going for the high noon, not getting that kind of value he wanted. Kara getting that flux, immediate kill on Sino. Fan there to rest it though, and Hawkshaw answers on Kara. That is not what you wanted to see. Sino pops me out and see right out of that high noon that he had duped. And uh, Frosty answers on Sino, but off white taking out Meow see This is getting very scrappy now, and a huge flux picks up all flux. three of the enemy team. All dropped very low immediately. They have to back off. Off white is rolling through him. A crazy oh, hook from Luis as he immediately ults after it and Karsu takes a dirt nap. Hawkshaw looking healthy right now as he tries to contest this point, but there is a Matrix up and a Bob, but a trance to answer it. That is exactly the kind of sustain you need as a stand is damage boosting their the team. The Bob is still in the back line doing an awful lot of damage. Hawkshaw getting pretty healthy. Nan Hook gets the res. Meowancy back on the tracer, takes Rad out. Frosty takes out Hawkshaw. Sino pops glitch in the face though, and Than gets the res. Sino's down, Karsu takes out Meowancy, Kara takes out the Bob ult, but that was uh, kind of a waste there. Off-White takes out Frosty, Karsu coming oh, back in this, Luis is down, Sigma down! Karsu! The high noon, Karsu! Karsu! <laughs> he got three to finish off the map, and that's 4 one 3 Hailstorm is going to take map number four. They're going to go up 2-1 to one in this series. They are one map away from moving on to the quarterfinals here. But look, those fights near the end were so scrappy. Pace going both ways, but at the end of the day, Q for Quarantine just couldn't get it done. I mean, another lockdown defense from 413 Hailstorm. They're, they've just been completely shutting down. Uh, they, they've been shutting down Q for Quarantine. They, they just can't cap any points so far. Insane individual plays made that doable for Hailstorm. Absolutely. Everyone going absolutely crazy for them so far. And I mean, going into map number five, we're going to have our second control map. It is map number five. How. Alrighty, we're coming back here for map five of the final qualifiers game. He hails from the government. If you're just tuning in now, go back and watch the other stuff because that has been a insane of the membrane but this map should be coming down this is for all the marbles if four and three hailstorm walks away with the w here they will proceed on into the playoffs if they don't we go to our first map six oh, we could go to a map six it is currently two one for four one three hailstorm going into map five uh temple of anubis was a draw so if cuber quarantine wins this next map uh we are going to be going to a map six which, uh, if we go into map 6, I do believe it's going to be hybrid. Um, so, we'll, we might have that to look forward to, considering uh, Q for Quarantine, the map that they did win was on control. And uh, they won on Ilios, I would say, relatively... Rel it, it was it was a pretty... It, it was a pretty... Con con what's the word I'm looking for? Convincing. Convincing, exactly. It was a, it was a pretty convincing first map win there. So, uh... You know, if they can keep that pattern up on these control maps, I think we might be seeing a map six. Uh, I agree. And to be clear, the last time that these two teams fought, Q for Quarantine walked away with the W on both control maps. It was a map five, and Q for Quarantine won the series. This time, Hailstorm's coming into it up one. Q yeah, for Quarantine, they need that clutch factor on control. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they... It's not two two this time, so I mean, winning this uh, winning this map five, uh, it, it it's not gonna win them the map, it, it's not gonna win them the match because I mean, four one three hailstorm, they were able to uh, steal a win away from Q for quarantine on a fantastic five minute hold on Temple of Anubis. So, uh, we are gonna be seeing some swaps here from four one three hailstorm. We are gonna see Wolf going in for off white, and we are seeing Shizzy in for Karsu. Um, I, I, I don't know how I feel about this swap, considering Karsu on these hitscan heroes has been 
absolutely phenomenal so far. Um, but I we're think... going to have to see what they can do. I think I do agree with Wolf in for Off-White, though. You know, Off-White has been pretty consistent throughout this game. But um, I think just uh, the, the versatility that comes with uh, Wolf, who, who we know to be a really, really good main tank player, is just maybe a little bit outweighed um, for some of the map pool of Li Zhang. Uh, that said, I would be excited to go to our sixth map here and see the lineups for that one. Shizzy um, happens to be a phenomenal player, and I think if we don't see King's Row, I might riot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, map six, if we are uh, able to end this match on King's Row, I feel like that'd be a treat for everyone. King's Row being the finale, that would be absolutely incredible to see. But, uh, I mean, we're not going to be able to see it unless uh, unless Q for Quarantine is able to win this next map. So, and if 4-3 and Hailstorm is able to win this map, they win the, they win the game. They, they move on to the playoffs. And, uh, again, whoever wins this game moves on. Whoever loses it goes home. So, okay. uh, this is an extremely important one, and both teams going a little bit different on these uh, on these comps here. Yeah, so we're seeing the uh, Q for Quarantine coming out on a little more of a traditional composition here. They're coming in with this uh, Brawl Sim TP, whereas uh, it looks like Q, uh, Hailstorm want to stick in their comfort zone here with the meta, and Wolf is on this ball, so I don't know if I totally agree with this. I think I would have liked to see uh, a Sim TP from them as well, but a huge roll through gets ball, an awful lot of ultimate, but... The TP is faster, they do have point control now, and now it's a game of you walk into us, well, that's exactly what this Reaper wants to see. Yeah, Wolf exactly. is on this flank right now. He's gonna roll through everyone with some more ult charges up at 46% already on this ultimate. Hotchox takes out the lamp, maybe uh, preemptively used. Um, he's rolled through again, Wolf already up to 56% to his ultimate. Might be the first one to have it, but Glitch is building it just as fast. These, kill, these damage needs to be converted to kills right now. There's a lot of shielding, though. Luis with that. Nanhook gets the boop, and Wolf takes it. Takes a little bit of a swim. I had to tell you, Wolf, but uh, that's deadly water. That is deadly water. Well, there's no water down there, actually. If you fall off the edge of the map, you're just hitting pavement. So uh, I wouldn't want to fall down there either. That's a smear if I've ever seen one. Frosty taking out Shizzy Turret. Luis is trying to push up and take the space right now, but it's really hard to do when you have that much spam coming out from Sino and Shizzy. A lot of damage coming out, but they're already at 30%. I gotta say, the alt bank kind of favoring one side. Kara takes out one. These Sigmas are trading as Hawkshot takes out Glitch as well. The beat is there, however, to sustain them through the ultimate. Now the Torb comes in. The Trans. There's a lot of ultimates coming out very quickly from the side of the... Uh, 4 and 3. Rad taking out Meowmc at the words end. Dan Hook gets another kill again. on the rat Wolf. Wolf, dude. Stop licking pavement and start getting kills. Frosty takes a rat on the exit. And this fight is winnable, but Hawkshaw shuts him down. And now it's just a Lucio to sustain. Sino moves over to the Farah pick. I like this. I'm going for long range poke here against this Reinhardt, and that is not what Reinhardt wants to deal with. Absolutely. I want to point out Hawkshaw in that fight was able to get, I believe, three, got the first kill, and then was able to clean up with those last two kills as well, as well as a uh, gigantic flux there, was able to bait out that uh, that beat. So big plays from him there. Okay, so now SimTP is going to go up and the wall to split the points. So now they get to walk on for free. There's a both windows coming out. Huge damage going and through. Nanhook gets boom. another boop. Frosty takes out one, Meow another, and Sino's up in the air taking out Glitch. Rad takes out Meow MC from the back line. That's a flank in Zenyatta if I've ever seen one, but there's just more point presence at this point. Wolf is flying in for a little bit of damage, and Sino's just killed. Still poking away. Fro he gets Frosty, actually. Oh, wait, it's winnable here. There yeah, is a beat, though, to sustain. That's a huge beat. A really fast build, I must say. Nanhook is still contesting Wolf on the sideline. Wolf does not want to take another. Uh, sleepy time as the flux comes out and Hawk is immediately deleted. The barrage is there, but it's a little, what a too, little too late. Gets stunned up. Sino takes out Louise and Dan takes out Meow MC, but Kara is there to sustain. It's so hard to push into this Sigma. Yeah, it is so, so tough to push into this comp. And uh, I mean, that's going to be 4 on 3 Hailstorm back to the drawing board once again. 4 and or uh, Q for Quarantine is up at almost 80% here. And a four and three hailstorm, they're up at around fifty percent. So they're gonna have they, they got some catch up to do here. I gotta say though, Meow MC has been building this death blossom for a really long time. They're just not giving the Reaper an opportunity to do that kind of damage to the main tanks. Absolutely great at shutting him down so far. There's Hawkshot with the big flux. He's gonna get three. Shizzy takes out Frosty immediately. But Meow MC answers onto Rad. Meow MC is on a flank mission right now, but there is Torb Goo all over the place. That blossom gets insta canceled. 
as Shizzy takes out Luis and Hawkshot takes it out too and Meow MC and Kara. Sino takes the boot kill. He says, nope, I can make you eat pavement too. And I mean, there's Shizzy with another kill. I, I think that was three there in that fight. And I, I gotta say, there's been a little bit of a pattern here. Every time Shizzy has that uh, that goo, every time he's got that molten core, they've been able to win these fights just because it's so hard to push in. But when you have that goo, it's so much easier to just displace the members of Q for quarantine here. Shizzy, his ult charge is going to be integral here. Absolutely. If Matrix goes down early, does an awful lot of damage, and Sino, Sino gets... Sino gets me out oh, more pavement eating. I told you guys, it's not tasty. Everyone just been going off the map so far. I mean, the Nook with these huge boobs, and now Sino is participating in these environmental kills too. The pavement must be tasty down there, because everyone's jumping down. Honestly, I think uh, Meowth needs to make a swap pretty soon, because Sino's got free reign, and he's just not building ultimates very fast. As I say that, Frosty picks him out of the sky! What a shot! Meowth takes out Wolf, and there's the value I needed to see from the Reaper. The push is in, the, the shatter's shatter. down. Not a whole lot of value, but you know what? I accept it. Main tank dominance. That's what needed to be asserted just there. Is Hailstorm or a Q for Q quarantine? My bad. Pushes into this confidently. The 99 is ticking down. Overtime. Sino gets rocked out of the What a what rock! Man, who gets the full on Wolf and done? Sino was about to touch too. I Wolf mean, is now what a beautiful rock. More pavement than any other player on this team. Absolutely. I mean, that was three times. I guess technically, I don't think that last boop actually counted. I think it was after the. I uh, count it. I, I think count it. Was it. That, yeah, I would count it too. It did appear in the in the kill feed. So I mean, that is the third time that uh, Wolf got booped off the map, courtesy of Nanook. So uh, everyone just eating pavement so far, and uh, I think we're gonna see some of these uh, some of the same old same old in terms of these comps. This ball oh, sigma. Wait. I gotta say, there's a crazy DPS line going over from Q for Quarantine right now. Sino and Shizzy keeping it kind of standard. Shizzy's on that Torb, which we've seen him a lot, and Rad's moving over to the Lucio, probably just for the boops. But Meow MC's on this Sombra and the Reaper from Frosty. This is kind of what made Q for Quarantine was that meta of dive. But they don't have the tanks to dive with them right now. But Frosty doesn't care. The hack's on Wolf and he deletes them. Sino's there on Nana, but Meow MC answers back on the Sino and Shizzy takes down Meow MC. Frosty's just there though. Once you have that point presence, the Reaper it is so hard to push in. And uh, Hawkshaw is uh, in an awkward position. He's exiting as quickly as his floaty feet can. Yeah, so he is going to make it out alive, but that's going to be the first capture percentage. He's going to go over to Q for quarantine. Sino just putting in some damage. Uh, 4 and 3 Hailstorm is going to be able to recontest this pretty quickly. So we're going to see how this next fight goes. Now I'm seeing a duel with the turret right now. He lost. Um, he had to back away. So that's already Trans Locator used. They're pushing into this with the Hog. That's going to be much harder to hack than um, the ball was. She takes out Glitch. That's a huge pick on the side. The hook on Nan Hook, Nan hook but uh, not enough to get the kill. Sino is pushing in from the left right now, too. Does, has a down a full flank around. Wolf is looking very unhealthy. Needs support from his healers. Frosty, too, backing off. Everyone's getting healed up right now, but Louise oh, the gets the boob kill. Shizzy's in the back line, though, and pops one into Yamsi's head. There's Bolton Core on the core. Point right now, and Rat pops Kara as he tries to get away. Luis takes Shizzy, but I think it's too little too late. The stall is going to come in. Glitch invests his ultimate here, and they get transport, which is actually a really great return. The Rat res goes off. Now that's both support alts and goo committed to this fight just to get the win, and they have not flipped the point over yet. The stall is still coming in from this Luis, who just is intent on not leaving. Glitch gets the kill on Hawkshot. There is an opening for recontest. Luis gets the kill on Sino. They didn't flip the point, too. This just like that, it's going four. up. Rad takes Glitch, so this is winnable all of a sudden, but Meowms is still doing, doing this turret. Now he gets it, Frosty takes out Shizzy. The Reaper's finally getting some value here. Just needed to swap persons on the Reaper, and Frosty gets another as Nanhook follows up with two as well. Huge Absolutely. That's plays. That's another fight win for two for quarantine. They're up at 75% already. To five ultimates. Zero. We're going into the last fight, and there's five ultimates to two. And maybe Wolf has his in the mid-fight, but that is not what you want to see. Shizzy moving over this May, I don't know what that's going to do, really. I think it might just be a comfort pick, but he is really good at it, so I would be scared. Absolutely, here Wolf. in Warren Trails, going to push oh, really No, Wolf! No, not again! again. Hawkshot she takes out Frosty, but Meow MC is on Rad in the back line. Kara takes out Hawkshot, too. His sign pops up Meow MC. There's the EMP from the dupes. But uh, I might be too little too late. And Hook takes another as then just res the Brad. And, and now it's just Brad and Sino's dupe off. And Luis pops off both of them. 
the Blossom's in to just take out the remainders, and it, there goes Sino. Wolf is in the point contesting, gets removed by Frosty, and that's going to be it. Oh no, the, the contest is there. Shizzy's on Tracer, though, not a hero he's really well known for. Cards in there, too, blocking that entrance as Frosty pops it off, and that was convincing and dominant for Q for Quarantine. And we get it, baby! We got a map six! We got it. We are going to a map number six. It is two to two. Q for Quarantine has won two maps. Four and three Hellstorm has won two maps. There's one draw in there as well. So that means we are going to map number six. It does not get closer than this, folks. Do not leave your seats, because this one is going to be an extremely interesting one. I think we're going to go... I, I, I'd be surprised if we didn't go to King's Row. I mean, can you see this going any other place? I could definitely see it going to a lot of places. But none that I think our fans would really vibe with, like King's Row. Absolutely. I mean, I'd be surprised if this match does not go to King's Row. I mean, it's a fan favorite. So, uh, I mean, I'd also like to point out um, how many environmental kills were on the field there for both, especially even both teams. Wolf, how many times did Wolf go off the map there? Four. At least like five. Four, five? Five. I think it was five. I think it was Chat, five. I need an answer on that really like there quick. Was, there was three, I think, in the first round, and then I think another two on the second round. So, uh, yeah, he was eating He was eating a lot of pavement there. Um, Chat. However... Chat, I need you to do something for me. <laughs> I need you to go to Rad and personally DM. The quarterfinals, I should say. Uh, whoever wins this is going to go up against Hailstorm uh, in the quarterfinals, but whoever loses this... They're gone. They're, they're gone. Whoever loses this, they have to, they're going home. Uh, they're done in this tournament, whoever loses this game. So uh, this map is going to be an extremely interesting one. I'm very excited to see what we roll out here on. And um, Wow, that is nothing of what I expected. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I thought we were going to see a little bit of the same old, same old, the ball Sigma, but we're seeing double bubble on the side of 413 Hailstorm with the monkey Zarya. to identify all possible outcomes. I was watching from OWL from a while ago, and now we're seeing Sino rolling out on this Sombra, and we're looking for a brawl with the Sombra right now. And I'm interested to see how the brawl does against this bunker. I don't think it's going to fare very well, though. Yeah, you never know. I mean, the EMPs are usually huge, the hacks are usually pretty big, but uh, we're going to see what this Ryan Zarya can do against this, this uh, bunker comp here. Sino scouting in the back so they know where the trap is. They're pushing through a huge halt. Gets a lot of damage for, for that Junkrat. And a great Dynamite going in. But Immortality Field's forced it already, and I don't think that was exactly the best oh, play. All the way takes one, and Karsu takes another. Both TPS down. That's exactly what we needed here, and Kar is hacked. Nan Nanook gets the res, but Hawkshaw takes out Kar and off white on Frosty again. Frosty taking a dirt nap. Karsu takes Glitch, and off white with a 3k now in this fight. That Ryan Hammer just swinging. Outright 4k, Luis oh, is down. Off white, nasty on this Reinhardt. We saw a little bit of the Reinhardt on Temple of Anubis, and that went pretty well from him, and now we're seeing it again. And he uh, he is really showing up here so far. It's only been one fight. However, that's point number they one mirrored. already taken for 4 and 3 Hailstorm. They're going to go into the streets phase of Eichenwald with over five minutes on this clock. Now they're playing a deadly game. Q for Quarantine has mirrored the composition run by... Uh, Hailstorm as the hack goes off onto Off-White, but then a quick hack onto Meow MC, that return hack on Sombra. The Shatter goes down, not finding enough though. The stun duration has been nerfed. Hawkshaw getting lob damage into that Matrix though. Takes out Frosty after Luis takes him out. And uh, it looks like they're just gonna kind of sustain in that little room there as the cart keeps getting pushed kind of for free. Now Ryan's out there. He's uh, on the point, but there's a high noon kind of zone in them out. A lot of damage about to be poured into that shield. Now the Rhines are dueling it out. Nan Hook gets the pick onto Rad. Karsu finishes me out and see though, that's probably a bigger pick, if I had to say. Sino coming really quick to this uh his ultimate. The My grab bad. is there. The it's pin comes out. Karsu, another fan on with two though, and Karsu with a, a third in this fight. Off-white takes out Frosty with a long-range fire strike, and off-white has just kind of been going off right now. 
Now, off white's just been kind of dominating this main tank duel so far. And uh, they're comfortably pushing this. They got four minutes left. They're almost to this last point. Is anyone going to be able to touch? Yeah, but there's an EMP if they do touch. So it doesn't even matter. Huge. That's a four man EMP, and they just push into it and kill everyone. Five minutes, 25 timer left, and Off White has shattered again. He has now officially lapped Luis. Absolutely. Both Ryans with this shatter here. We're going to see what both of them can do here. Uh, look at this. Four ults from the side of 4 and 3 Hailstorm on the other side of things. Coming up on uh, coming up on almost five here. Now I'm seeing you're probably going to have that EMP in the mid fight here. It'll be entirely on who ults first here. A great shatter lays out Off White. Karsu, however, answers on Frosty. Glitch answers on Karsu. Off White with a bigger shatter. Nails three to the ground. The beat just to sustain them in that grab. And now Thans got the uh, Matrix there. There's a lot of damage being pouring out. Hawkshot kills Kara, but Kara finishes off Off White. It's a retreat spawn. Wow. And a that was swaps. disaster. Look at how many ults were used from the side of Q for quarantine there. All they have is EMP coming into this next fight with a Matrix, maybe in a mid fight, but they have to back off. They've already won this fight based on the respawn timers. However, that point is entirely too close for comfort. And if I see a C9, I might cry. Absolutely. We, again, 4 and 3 Hailstorm, they, they've done it before. They, they've they done the big C9 before. I think we saw, if I'm not mistaken, I think we saw Sino do it before, actually, in one of their I think it was matches. Wolf. But yeah, I think it was off white maybe? Yeah, he was off white on uh, Nibani. Oh, I mean, uh, in one of their previous matches on this map, uh, Sino was able to get the C9 on Eichenwald in one of their previous matches. Oh, huge EMP though. Three man taken out. There's no support for the Reinhardt in the back line now. As Glitch takes out Sino, Karsu pops Luis in the face. That's an interesting one with the Discord orb there. Junkrat's in the back line taking out Karsu, but Hawkshaw is in the front line taking out Meow MC, and that's not exactly what you want to see. Frosty, however, putting a lot of work in already up to a tire from one fight practically. Yeah, absolutely, and that's going to be 4-1-3 Hailstorm back to the drawing board here. Uh, they've got a few ults to work with here. Sino is uh, getting pretty close to this EMP, and uh, they don't have a whole lot of ground left to cover, and they've got 3 minutes 30 seconds left to cover it. What's the game plan if you're walking into this as Hailstorm? Uh, save up ults, hit Q, win game. Same as always. That's a great Matrix coming out though, gonna be hard to push into that. Rad, however, making it easy, picking up Meow MC, not gonna get any progress to that EMP. He has been lacking all game long. Frosty, however, that one hit combo takes out Than. Oh, double kill him, Karsu, though, that's exactly course. what you needed. Frosty takes out course. two now, and this pop shot goes down. Sino pops Frosty, though, and that's the carry already out of this fight. Karsu with a third! Sino takes out Luis, and it's all but over, but the crying, there's a shatter waiting for anyone who dares touch his point right now. A trance to sustain the team as Karsu is just hitting shot after shot. Meow MC does not have a pleasant life, and then Shatter lays them out. Rad cleaning it up. He's got a 2k right now. The EMP for good measure as the ball is now out of his rolly form. Gets double hacked, and Karsu is another in this fight. They're going to cap. Just like that, that's three points capped again for 413 Hailstorm. They, they've capped, they full capped every single payload map they've played so far. And they've got a pretty cushy time bank as well. They've got two minutes, 28 seconds left on the clock. And I mean, if history is going to repeat itself, I, we might see another lockdown defense here from the side of 413 Hailstorm, considering uh, that's what they've been doing all game long. It happened on Temple of Anubis. It happened on Numbani as well. Uh, some gigantic defenses. We also saw it on Route 66. Uh, their defenses have just been absolutely shut down so far. So we're going to see if they can repeat the same thing on Eichenwald here to uh, secure this win. I'll be interested to see what kind of compositions they're coming out with. It looks like they're going for the spam comp, the hog and Sigma again. That has been their lockdown composition. They have not found the answer to it yet, but Meow MC thinks the Sombra is the pick right now, and Frosty's on this Kree. Looks like they're going for the Sig Rhine. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Eichenwald, definitely a map of ups and downs. What do you think in Octave? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know what we're saying here. I, I Sino, look at this on this Farah. I mean, he has been pretty dominant on the Farah so far. Uh, we saw it a little bit on Lijiang Tower. Uh, there was some boobs to go around, plenty of damage rained down. And uh, we're going to see if Q for Quarantine can maybe push through this, because they've got their backs against the wall right now. If they don't push through this defense, they're done for. Yeah, some good damage coming out early from Frosty, poking at that uh, 
Fara. He finds Meow MC with a rocket and does an awful lot of damage to him too. Off by controlling this side angle here, but now the tanks have pushed in. The space has been made by these double shields, but Sino picks out an end hook from the sky as he's just raining down uncontested. Karsu's been hacked up, but it doesn't matter. The immortality field is there to protect the stragglers who exit, but Karsu finds Frosty no matter what. He says, immortality? There's no such thing when my aim exists. Yeah, absolutely. Q for quarantine. Back to spawn. Back to the drawing board. They're gonna have to push in again. Meow MC on this Sombra. Only 25% so far to that EMP. Uh, gonna have to see a little bit of a faster build up here. Yeah, I think he's not a. He's got to either hack a really high value target like the fire out of the sky, and then they gotta rush into them with the Lucio speed, or they're gonna have to swap pretty fast. He's hacked Hawkshaw, so there is no shield right now. They need to get aggressive when the hacks go off. They just aren't. Frosty takes out Sino, so now you have every reason in the world to push this. The immortality field goes down to support them for some reason. And now the tanks are kind of gone. Off White goes down, now so does Hawkshaw. Kara coming up big right now in that frontline battle. Rad takes out Nan Hook on the side. Maybe a red at Lucio, but Meow MC answers back on a Rad, and that point has been capped. Now finally, Q for Quarantine is able to stop a full hold. Uh, they were able to push through this first point pretty nicely. They got five minutes left on this time bank. And let's see what they can do on points past the first one here. Sino sitting in this cheeky little side angle, but I don't think Frosty's going to allow it. Off-White too. They're all both on this high ground trying to rein in some damage. So what is your opinion right now on this far? I mean, I'm liking it so far. Frosty, however, like on this McCree, putting a lot of pressure on it. It's, uh... Same with the glitch. Speaking of pressure, as Sino takes a dirt nap again. Now he takes out that uh, immortality field and the Hawkshaw's not looking healthy enough to sustain it. Off-White's kind of raining damage on Payload, but that's not what you need from your tank. You needed to control space. Than takes out Luis oh, with that ant Matrix gold. That's what you needed. Than takes out two. two! Who needs a DPS when you have Than? Rad pops another! This... Uh, this BAP Zen combo has been just do annihilating a team right now. Sino moves over to this Echo. I think I like that more than the Farah. Yeah, absolutely. Like some bloodthirsty supports there. You know, the BAP Zen. There's plenty of damage there, of course, with that window, the discords as well. I want to point out Off-White. Hit an insane hook from up on the uh, up on the bridge there. He did not get the final blow. That was Rad that did get it. However, the hook was fantastic, and that's gonna send Q for quarantine. Is gonna have to go through this castle to get on point. Again. I think they're looking to ah oh, huge oh, EMP. EMP. Shuts down the ultimate. And the the beat is there, so the team is looking healthy right now as they push into it. Carson though doesn't seem to care. One all, deletes one off white. Not healthy though. It's been hacked up, stunned up, and dead. Frosty takes out Karsu on this side angle here, kind of wondering what he's doing there, but that's okay. The team has to back off now. Sino getting some poke damage, already halfway to his ultimate. That's a really fast build. But uh, Hawkshaw might be one of his uh, Sigma flux back. That was a really good EMP from Meow MC. Absolutely. Next fight is coming up very soon here. They're uh, approaching the door here, going to the next point. There's the flux, he's gonna get three. Flux, three man. The trans is there to answer though, but Frosty immediately takes out Hawkshaw as he lands off-white with the ultimate, put in Luis in his place. But there is a high Nuni McCree behind the Matrix right now, so if anyone poops their head out just a little bit, they're gone. It's over. They're being forced off point right now by an overwhelming amount of damage. The sign was there to contest. Rad is in the back line, but he gets immediately taken out as Nanook is in there. He is a Reddit Lucio who is on a deathly mission. Hawkshot trying to survive with a sliver of HP, but Glitch is there. Soon and uh, that's going to be Q for quarantine. They're going to enter this last point. They've got four minutes left on the clock, a pretty similar time bank to what 413 Hailstorm had when they first entered this point. And I mean. The Cuba Quarantine, they've really broken through now. They're not saying die, and this Icon Wall map is going to be so close. Off White moves over to this Reinhardt. They want that main tank duel, and I don't mind it. It might not be meta, but it's freaking entertaining as hell with this shatter lands and an EMP. Huge plays. Off White is on his back, and he's taking a lot of damage. Both Immortality Fields start to sustain, but Frosty picks out Sino. Frosty is going insane right now. Takes out the Immortality Field as they land. Nano takes out Fro Off White. Karsu answers on Frosty, but it might be too little too late. The Matrix is there. Meow MC takes out Karsu, and Kara's on Thin. They're both down. A huge beat to sustain them through Hawkshaw's uh, flux, and Hawkshaw's not looking healthy. He's out too. Sino's gonna touch. Jump in for a last minute touch, and so is Off White, but he's hacked out. I don't think he's going to live very long. I think coming out from Karsu, but it gets immediately blocked off by a shield. There is a stall here. It is a thin one. Karsu takes out Frosty, but immediately gets taken out. Perhaps a little bit too aggressive. The trans is there to sustain, but Sino's taking out Luis. I think they might have had this at the 
Stall has paid off. Hawkshot comes out on that huge Zen play. And, uh, sorry, huge Zarya play. And they're going to take this back. What a last minute. Look at that. Zero. 0.01 meters. Oh my God. We're left on that card. So, so robbery. close to finishing the map. However, they just can't quite do it. And uh, because of that, Hailstorm, they're going to have the greater time bank going into map, going into round number three. Uh, I mean, that that's assuming that uh, Cuba Quarantine can finish this map. Off White had to reset his ultimate cooldown as they push in as he switches over. The hack is already on. A Hawkshaw right now, but there's an answering hack onto the Sigma, but Frosty deletes Sino from the game. That's a huge it is pick. all on Cars do now. The cross pin from Offway, not finding enough value. The Shatter lays him on his back, and it looks like Luis is in his head oh, right now. There's a huge nine. flux stand throughout. What a play. Round two is done. Q for quarantine. They've completed the map too. It's three to three. This is map number six, folks. Both teams just completed the map. We are going into round number three. And that means Q for quarantine is going to be on attack for the second time. I mean, neither of these teams are quitting. Both of these teams are going all out. This is one of the most interesting games, one of the most exciting games you're going to see in this tournament. Absolutely. Calling it right now. If you're not watching this, that's cap. Get your butts in here. This is amazing. Absolutely. Again, if you're not watching now, or if you are watching now, get your friends, get your parents, get your grandparents to come watch. I mean, you know, even if you don't watch Overwatch, you can tell this one is an extremely close match. And uh, on this defense again for 4 and 3 Hellstorm, we are going to see the same cop that they ran for all the rest of their defenses. They're going for that Hog Sigma, they got the Echo Kree, and they've got this Bab Zen, of course, as well. Uh, you know, a little bit of the same old, same old on this. Uh, Eichenwald map here, the Rhine Sigma on the other side of things for Q for Quarantine. Samba Cree, Lucio Bap. Now is when we see the lockdown defense. Now we see here. a lockdown defense and then a lockdown defense and then we're going to map seven! <laughs> Just imagine if we went to map seven. If this was a draw, oh my goodness, that would be the most insane match of all time if we went to map number seven. But uh, like two minutes, uh, around two minutes on the clock for both sides here. And this is about as close as it's gonna get. Oh, Rat takes an early rock, putting him down low. The whole team does not look too healthy, but they've already forced out this immortality field, so there's no sustain really remaining. Meow MC takes out Rad, though. That is not what you need for Sino. Going big, takes out two. Luis and Nanhook going back to spawn, and that's what you needed more along the lines of at least Karsu takes out another. And it looks like you for quarantine is going back to spawn. Crunching back to spawn, they've got a minute 20 left. That's about 30 seconds burned off the clock for them. Uh, but they're gonna, they're gonna have a couple low. more fights if they really need them. Absolutely, but we are gonna hit that minute timer before we get a full push in here. There's Absolutely. A, definitely a flux coming up really fast for Sino. A lot of spam damage coming in from him. He's got it now, or he's got the Duke. Karsu takes out Meow MC, and that's not what you wanted for an opening fight. The Matrix is down, but. There's a duped Sino who gets pinned and taken out quickly. Off-White, however, taking a lot of damage. And Sino's in the back line exactly where he wanted to be from that pin. Luis takes out Than, but I think it's too little too late. As Sino goes on a tear and takes out three. I go going getting three. The man's absolutely crazy. He gets knocked out of his uh, out of his dupe extremely quickly. However, he doesn't care. He's going to go get three. He's going to keep this point alive. And Q for quarantine. They've got 30 seconds left. Probably only one more fight here. Um, and, I mean, they... they they got their backs against the wall. It's going to be tough for them, but they need to do it or they might be going home here. Sky Noon is the name of the game right now. There's the ultimate coming from Cars. Oh, but Hawkshaw's hacked! Hawkshaw's hacked, so they had to back off. They had to cancel. There's the Flux. There's an answering Flux. There's a Trans. There's an High Noon, but it gets rocked. Oh my god, what a shot from Hawkshaw right now, putting him on his butt. Sino takes out go down. MC, Than takes out Frosty, there's no DPS remaining. The beat is down though. Those are healthy tanks and they are pushing in Karsu with another though. And Hawkshot kills himself in an awkward situation. Sino takes out Karv and Karsu does not care. This man doesn't miss. He puts Nanhook in the dumpster. Yeah, and that is going to be a full hold. I, was, I think it was a minute 57 if I'm not mistaken that uh, Q for Quarantine had there. And all of that was burned off. So now 413 Hailstorm. They have got two minutes and 28 seconds to capture one point, or capture one tick, I should say, on Eichenwald. 
If they do so, they will be moving on to the quali- to, they will be moving on to the quarterfinals to play Hailstorm. Uh, and I mean, if this if this is a draw, if this is a draw, and we go to a map seven, I that will be the most insane match we will ever see in this tournament. I absolutely agree, and it looks like they're coming out on a brawl versus brawl again. Last time this favored, you know, Hailstorm, but you know what? After going all the way through three points, I would feel a little shook if I was Hailstorm right now. So if I can just see a draw right now, uh, I might kiss someone. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen a map seven. I, I think I, I think it, I'm, I can I'm sure it's happened in Overwatch League a couple times. I think I remember it happening at least a couple times, but I have never casted a game myself that has gone past five maps even. And again, if we see a map seven, that'll be the most insane game I've ever casted for sure. This is absolutely keeping everyone on their toes. Don't miss it. Get in here. Watch this. We're coming out of the spawn right now, and 4 and 3 Hailstorm is on a mission to capture this point. Yeah, absolutely. They're on a mission. If they can cap one point, they, if they can cap what one tick, they win this game. fast speed in, but Off-White immediately gets stunned. They have to use Immortality Field to sustain, but they are already half health. Both teams taking a lot of damage early, but Off-White goes down. You lose your main tank, it's already a losing battle. Hawkshot takes out Glitz, so oh, it's a goes down competitive though. fight at least. Sino's on the Pinnacle side angle. Karsu takes out another. Sino another. Hawkshot takes out a third. Fourth! Four kills for Hawkshot in this fight, and they cap it! That's Four, the game! 4-1-3 Hailstorm after six maps are able to pull through in the closest of games. The closest game I have seen, the closest game I have casted so far. And uh, <laughs> they were able to get their revenge. I mean, last time these two played against each other, we saw map five, but we saw we saw Q for quarantine win it. This time, 4-1-3 Hailstorm, they are the ones that prevail. 4-1-3 Hailstorm is gonna go on to the quarterfinals. And uh, Q for Quarantine, they're going home. Uh, it's an absolutely heartbreaking loss considering how close it was. But uh, what a close one it was. An incredible game today. I have to put it out there. Karsu, in that final match alone, had 40 60 limbs. He had 60% of his team's kill participation. What an absolute man. Absolute monster, I agree. And... Uh, we have one more thing to cover before we finish this off. And uh, on our suspect, I'm going to have to ask you this. Who on 4 and 3 Hailstorm do you think deserves the MVP for today's game? Oh, my God. How can you ask me a question? Can I give it to half the team? Because I got Hawkshaw, I got Sino, I got Karsu, I got Rad, I got Than. There was big plays made by all Off-White. Just the aggressive main tank making space for it, too. Good Lord, Octave. Yeah. How dare you force this question on me? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I mean, an MVP has to be picked. So, uh, I, I gotta ask, who do you think deserves it today? You know what? I gotta say, the one consistent piece in all of the wins was Hawkshaw. Hawkshaw... Did he lose a map? Yeah, he did lose a map. Oh, so I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hawkshaw is not the consistent piece. I, I, I gotta say, I mean, as much as it's a little bit boring to give MVP to DPS, I mean, Sino. I mean, Sino. The man, he like his echo play, absolutely insane. I mean, the man. I, I think he played. He played every map except. For, no, actually, did he play every map? No, he missed the first one. He missed the, the first, first one, loss. I think. And but the rest of the maps he played, he was consistent. Uh, in every single map they won, uh, he was a driving force in basically all the fights. I mean, uh, if I was to give an MVP to anyone, it would have to be Sino. Second place, I mean, you know, it got to be either Karsu or Hawkshaw. Both of those guys went absolutely crazy today. But I absolutely agree. 100%. What, what think? I think I have to agree with you. you know, I think you made your case, and I agree. Sino, absolutely my MVP pick. I'm going to put it in chat right now. All right, absolutely. What? Amazing plays, and from the second we saw him come out, his first game, Numbani, we didn't know, you know, that old game, where's Sino? Well, you know what? He showed up. His first play was a 4K, opening up that Absolutely. first point. Yeah, I mean, again, last time the two of us casted uh, Sino, his play was, uh, you know, there, there was more to be desired there. But today, 
he came out when it really mattered and he absolutely just showed up for his team i there's, think we have him in here now there's the no more we could have asked for the man except for a statement sino how do you feel right now uh <laughs> very good i guess good good that is absolutely yeah. fantastic i mean you guys that was uh, that was you guys' qualifier. You guys are moving on to the playoffs. You guys are gonna face uh, Hailstorm, I believe, in your next match. Um, so I gotta ask, mm -hmm. I, I gotta ask, what were you what were you thinking going into map number six? Have you ever gone to a map six before? No, I was <laughs> I was wondering how many maps you can go into if we can get a map seven. You know, Zero that's a, we, we were thinking <laughs> the same thing for sure. I mean, and. Uh, one more thing for you here. It's um, if you yeah. uh, do, you have any like shout outs to give to, to your teammates? Like, you want to point out uh, any other players in particular that you think played very well I today? I feel like a lot of my uh, teammates who were playing, like, of course, Karsu had his times when he popped off, Than kept me alive when I should have died, uh, Rad fragged as well, Hawk also Absolutely. was doing some good, sick things, and <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> things. You know what? I don't think I've ever heard it put better. <laughs> and uh, what's absolutely. it called? Josh's ball was quite good today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, you gotta love uh, a humble DPS. And I've got one more question for you here. Uh, how? Uh, what? What's? What's your game plan going into your next match against Hailstorm? Because obviously, you know, Hailstorm one of the stronger opponents in this tournament. So, uh, you know, what? What's? Uh, what's your game plan going into that next match? Like, how are you gonna tackle that? Uh, to be honest, I'm probably still in Echo Jail. But uh, what's it called? <laughs> so far, I think we found our uh, comp that's working out for us. So. I think we're just going to keep running with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, a meta something. that has just fallen in Hailstorm's lap. And I got to say, Sino, you are definitely a linchpin of that meta. Pulling off an amazing echo place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh, if you don't have any more questions, do you, do you have no, any? No, I think I'm good. I think I've heard enough from the man, the myth, the legend. He can have his rest now. Absolutely. Go celebrate with your You guys are one of the final four in this tournament. So uh, go down. Uh, go, go congratulate them. Go celebrate with them. Uh, it was an awesome win. You know, very well earned today. Yeah, thank you. For having GG's, me. my man. GG. All right, Octopus. Now we're wrapping it up after a game six in the OCS tournament. If you're tuning in now, I'm sorry. We're all done. But go back and watch this. Go back, honestly. Go Such back and watch game. this game. I, I believe it started at eight. It, it, it's been like two hours, 15 minutes uh so far so i mean it was a long game today uh, an absolute marathon but it is absolutely worth it one of the most exciting games i've seen in a while absolutely agree and and look out because the next game is going to be playoffs so don't miss it yeah absolutely i i just like to uh put forth now because obviously we are done our uh we we are done our qualifier matches here we are going to see uh, Hailstorm, of course, versus 413 Hailstorm. Two, the, both Hailstorms going up against each other in the quarterfinals. And in the other side of the bracket, we are going to see WVU Mountaineers going up against 413 Hellfire. So, uh, of course, 413 Hailstorm, 413 Hellfire, the final two 413 teams in this tournament. Those are the final four. And, uh, of course, on, uh, on our channel, on twitch.tv slash 413 esports we are going to be covering plenty of those playoff games for you guys so uh make sure you tune into those games and we'll see you then until then this has been 413 suspects and 413 octave signing out